a bunch, bunch of, of us. us yeah. Do we have to follow the live uh, conversation on no, no, YouTube no, no, no. or anything? Yeah, 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 you can if you want to. Obviously. Cool. No. But hey, hey, we're already live, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm take, yeah. <laughs> I totally did that on purpose. Of course. Hey, what's, hey, what's up, up, everybody? How are you guys doing? Someone um, has internet. Bunch, bunch of people, people already in here. As, as in, in the, the chat. chat. And uh, yeah, you all, uh, you all know me probably, probably from watching this uh, show. show. Yeah. And you know the guy on the top right there, Mr. Mr. James Thompson. He's uh, my co host, but uh, he's also the cohort of this uh, uh, endeavor that we're going to. Uh, today. today and uh, yeah, yeah, we have uh, my, my, my CC, CC crew, crew with, with me. Um, Dolly, Dolly top, top left there. there. Then, then we have Charm uh, left bottom, bottom and uh, Mr. Matt Taylor, Taylor on the bottom, bottom right. right. And then my, my vice, vice friends, friends uh, open channel, channel friends, Matt, Matt Ferguson and Mr. Flory. How are you guys, guys doing? Fine. How was Christmas? Christmas? Everybody, Everybody surviving? surviving? Terrible rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Oh, what what happened? Who is this? Oh. <laughs> is this Willow? Oh, my Lord. People I haven't watched Willow yet. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did I just do yes. this? Oh, <laughs> Together? Oh, my God. Oh, Together. Oh, my God. Together mode. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the this way it's copying my head. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. This changed for everybody now. Everybody doesn't see anything now. Since you changed it. Oh shit! Okay, yeah. are we back to normal now? No. Can you flick it? Um, yeah, I have no idea. Oh, oh people, I'm, I'm, I'm that, that little man with the nose. Hold on. Wild, people oh, are saying wild, saying wild echoes, echoes, so, so let's let's, let's find, find out what happens here. Oh shit! Oh, that might be me. Hang on a second. No, 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 no. no. It's it's, it's, on, it's on the Twitter. You're, you're fine here. here. I, I just okay. muted mine. It's cool. Oh, I think I know what it is. So is this better? I think this should be better in 15 seconds, people. Yeah, hit that like button for uh, great uh, performances what we do here. Um, turn off together mode already, Tom. Yeah, yeah, I, I did already. So. Why are you all still like on? What the fuck some is stone this? Step? <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> okay. I, I, uh... I stopped it. Uh, my end it stopped. So, yeah. okay. I'm gonna do great Let's on do it mine. Let's do live. He said. There we go. Okay, We're there we cool. go. People, people in chat what? saying now we can talk. I, I I I I can't concentrate if I'm still on a step. I, I don't know what's going. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. You look so small, Flory, as well. You're like really, really. Tiny. So you're smaller than us. So oh there you go, giant. God. You can change. Oh, you you can make, people. make yourself bigger. I go closer. But dear people, yeah, for, so for the people that don't know what's going on, uh, these guys turn into a together mode, and then there's like this like Roman uh, theater staircase going on. And oh, look, we can be in a balloon. Yeah, but <laughs> if I go grid view, oh, I, I clicked grid view. I've got rid of it. I've sorted yeah, it out. Exactly. Yeah. You just click on grid view ah. again. I did it my end. Oh, oh, wow. We're in balloons now. See, this is because I, I don't understand technology. It. So there you go. It's well, the four boxes and view. <laughs> click on that. You go back to grid glory. All right. All right. No, yeah. Okay. I'm back. Cool. I just. <laughs> I did quite like the balloons. That was a bit fun. I didn't want to be in the okay. window. All right. Come on, okay, then. so yeah, so about? poster of the year, uh, the the drop uh, poster of the year tournament has wrapped. Um, a bunch of these guys were all. I mean, I think everybody was in there. Yeah? All you guys were in the tournament. That's true. But uh, we got only one winner, which was uh, Juan Ramos, uh, the lighthouse. I mean, I dig it because I I, I made this book and you know rigged. I made. This I'm book. just gonna shake my <laughs> shake my head. Yeah. Of course, of course. When it's an open an open vote like that it can't be uh objective really but i suppose no of course not. can be objective so. of course hey. well, it's, not, it's only the people that are going to see it that they're going to vote isn't it and the only people that well, are going to see it are tom's mates yeah tom's mates oh, oh, well, <laughs> vote for cause that's in the book that he did oh yeah um but this is us saying what we actually liked yeah on this tonight yeah this yeah. was the, like when yeah. i showed you guys the first time it was like oh this is good yeah so yeah, at least something went right. But hey, uh, yeah, let's talk about our picks because that's why we're here. We wanted to talk about um, our favorite posters of the year, like personal, not voted on or anything, but just like some taste. It's not not a, not a particular order here uh, that we're gonna give out, but um, some of the some of the favorites that we like. And you guys can also chime in in the chat. 
uh, uh, post uh, post this or like write in chat what posters you liked or uh, if you're if you're down uh, down uh, on the posters we like because we love to hear that and um, <coughs> I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the order basically alphabetically here so I'm just gonna go through that this way and uh, we're not gonna do like one person does their five and then they're gone it's gonna be more like um, yeah we're just gonna talk about this poster and then we all talk about it even if we didn't like Do it. I have to remember what my five favorite posters uh, no, were? No, I, I have that and I'll tell you. <laughs> Good, I was about to ask the same question. Yeah, <laughs> yeah same. I can't remember. I have no idea what I said. <laughs> I hope you all know the art. Otherwise, I can also help with that on the on, on this end. But uh, yeah, let's let's switch over to our first one. And this one is uh, a Vice Press release. Uh, this is uh, James Bausima, 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 uh, Darkman. And uh, oh. we have Ooh, uh, yeah. Dolly's first pick of his top yes. five and yeah this this one uh yeah is, is a great poster it's already also my a, number it's my number one of everything there you go this, this it's Matt's yeah, number one uh, also my i like the variant so i just put that out there here as well and yeah let's talk let's let dolly talk about it oh great well between the two i can't p pick between the variant and the reg they're both for me it's like a set um but yeah just really really like how stark and dramatic it was as a poster um it's I, I kind of lean towards posters that are a bit more minimal in what they're doing, but this is like that perfect balance of like there's there's you know the detail of the explosion and so forth, but you've got that stark silhouette of a person and it's and the type's just really strong on it. It's just it's less is more um, and economy of ink, all those sort of fun things that I like. Um, so yeah, perfect poster from that point of view, and I, I love the film. It's really kitschy in what it is, but like how dramatic um, Le Nielsen is in it. It's just like it's perfect for that film. I feel. Yeah, I mean, um, Matt, you also picked this one, and you also the art yeah. director on this one. I mean, is it? I'm the art director on this one. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, I actually <laughs> said no <laughs> when he first sent through the concept. I sort of said no. Yeah, it's, should I show the first concept? Matt? But it wasn't this though. Uh, not the first concept. No, not this. Okay, I'm going to show the second. <laughs> the first one that's sort of what we ended up with. Okay, there we go. Here we go. I'll... And I just I don't know what it was that I said no to, but then I showed it to probably James and Florian. They were like, "That's actually good, you dickhead." And then I thought about it, and I thought actually it is quite good, um, <laughs> because it's uh, a, a dark man. You know, hey. it's Perfect. as simple as that. It's a dark Sense man. <laughs> Done. And when, I, when really, I first yeah, like like Dolly said, it's really simple. It's really good. Mm. Um, and then the only art direction I, uh, we ended up doing was, uh, I think Flory suggested taking the border off. So we took the border off for the regular one, mm -hmm. and then we did the border on a different version. Uh, yeah. And then I did That's the time. Looks one hundred percent better without the border on it. Yes. Yeah. 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 Sort of yeah. feels second, like second he said that it was like yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've done that a bunch of times. It's sort of, I, I, remember, I think Jock showed me the first time that frame thing on like the Rosemary's Baby poster, just that beautiful like image and then the nice strip on the bottom. And it kind of, I don't know, it feels maybe a bit overused now, like as a framing device. And I mean, I still use it, but um, mm. yeah, it looks... It just it depends like, what it is, like most things, eh? Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's true. It sort of feels quite easy to pull back on, like just yeah. chuck a border on it, makes it feel <coughs> sort of sort of retro. Oh, everyone else is ill. Good. <laughs> so ill. Yeah. So oh, well. ill. My wife has got pneumonia, up. so you know we're all. Oh my goodness. Happy good, happy yeah, good good. Uh, Matt, how? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to show up with the with the first concept here the, that yeah. you posted around. Uh, why with the face? Yeah. Why was that, that not was, picked? Yeah. Or like, what's the difference? I just sort of said it looked too too generic and I wanted something a bit more uh, simple, no not simple just um, more better. direct <laughs> well, yeah better, more direct and I think I said me personally I've been on sort of a kick with like Polish film posters and stuff where it's more conceptual than not necessarily the actor's likeness and stuff so I just said that to him and then like the next day he, he came back with that hmm. shadow uh, and was like, this was the other idea I had. Uh, I just didn't think it was what you wanted. And I was like, like I said at first, no, nah, don't. It isn't what I want. Um, <laughs> and it turned out it was what I want, and it's my favourite poster of the year. So, <laughs> <laughs> what do I know? I'm an idiot. Well, I, like the first time I saw it, I I knew it was good because I got really fucking pissed off. I was like, God. Like I always get annoyed and jealous when something's really, really good and really, really simple because it's so hard to do. Yeah, you can't just have those ideas That's sometimes. True. Like, and this this guy just 
Well, oh, I suppose done, he had two ideas, but... He's done an Evil Dead 2 for us, which is going to come out soon, and it's, it's so simple, but really good. Again. Annoying. Annoyingly good. <sighs> All right, the people in chat said, Tom Chester says here, uh, his favorite is Matt Taylor's Tinker Taylor Soldier Spy. So there you go. And he's not even there. <laughs> but is he? Is... I will say that he, he'll be very proud to, to hear that. <laughs> that is, uh, <laughs> is that a bad thing? Yeah. on it, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah that's a good one. Yeah. Um, that um, Dark Man, it has like a timeless quality to it as well. Like it feels like I could find that in a vintage shop, yeah. in a vintage poster shop, and like feel like it was, you know, 50 years old or whatever. Like it's, it's got a real timeless quality. It doesn't feel like something that's being made today in a really good way yeah. so yeah. yeah yeah there you go okay um yeah. let's move over to jolie's second pick which is uh june by gaps and june is also picked two times more so we will talk about this in the same breath here in a second but let's what the gaps one or the uh no 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 different, uh, different dunes yeah yeah so we'll okay. best movie that's one dunes. exactly yeah so it's the it's the new version june dolly Let's talk. Yeah, about yeah. Um, I've kind of like picked particular like genres of posters. So I'm kind of splitting up my own. So I'm not just going down one route. Otherwise, I'd always go down like minimalist and conceptual. Um, I would like posters that get, kind of go, go the whole hog in a sense. Let's fill the page with like illustration and detail and everything else. This was my favorite of that of the year. Um, the Gabs is like amazing at detail work and all that composition. But for me, this is like how beautifully rendered it was. Just the, the, the posing of the characters everything about it was just like it was it was a perfect poster from that point of view in what he was going for um so in that kind of genre of posters is it was my favorite um still haven't watched the film um, i have, still haven't oh my god what still really haven't watched the film. no 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 it's like a lot of films like when they're like that um shouted about and glorified online it's like okay i'll wait until everything dies down and i'll watch it without that without that oh, no you mean you just won't be told by people that it's good because everyone's like that when somebody <laughs> says oh this is the best film i've ever seen you've yeah. got to watch it and you oh do i yeah. do i have to watch it yeah i'll wait next year and watch it so yeah, yeah i did that with like pulp fiction and all those films i was like i watched them a year or like a couple of years down the line so i'll watch this next year at some point if my if my wife and kid have watched it and said you must watch it i was like i'll watch it don't worry uh, oh, that's, that's, that's. I mean, I've, I've, I've done posters. It's on in the house, and he still won't watch it. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's, it is there. <laughs> and they said, "Are oh, you going to watch it at Christmas?" Um, I'll watch it at some point. Don't worry. Um, so it's one of those. Yeah, just read. Really, really... Watch it before June two. Do you like? Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a big cinema film. Yeah. It, like you have to hear that bass. Like it's very yeah, trainer. Yeah. I would watch it and then see if you can catch Gene too. In I the might summer. do like a, do it, a midnight showing, which is back to back of them both. Like, oh, uh, are you sure you want to do that? Uh, oh my goodness! The second time, that's like, like, Lord of the Rings. Hours, yeah. The yeah, chat, the ch pop your phone out, pop your phone out now, and put yeah. the movie on on your phone and just hold it like this and watch it while we do this. We could do and watch by the end, we'll, one you'll, one. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, yeah. um, watch it on your watch. Have you got an Apple Watch? Just watch it. On <laughs> Perfect. In, in the chat, headphones, yeah. In the chat, it's uh, just saying, wait till you need an app. Okay. For what you okay. Yeah. I, I have to say, I was the second time around, I was really tired. Okay. Really tired. Yeah. I think no, that's I'll, the, I'll, I'll last high praise of it. I just, I'm trying to find the review of it I read, <laughs> which really sums it up perfectly. Someone, someone posted something on Letterboxd, which just summed it up. Oh, yeah. 155 minutes of industrial design and thousand yard stairs while Hans Zimmer honks at you with his giant mechanical goose and that's basically it it looks pretty but yeah it's fine it, it, I, I just the main um, problem is it's five hard five stars matt ferguson i think i had this conversation with sean and i said there's so many people like raving about dune and it just seems to be the hot thing to rave about and i think like why are all these people raving about Dune? Something that they never watched from their childhood. Like I remember the original, say the original. The I read that, the book when I was twelve, yeah. bro. But <laughs> not you. But lives a lot of people just like really up Dune's ass this year, and I was like, okay, but everyone seems to be loving it too much, and I was like, yeah, that you're just doing that because it's so popular online. Everyone just like it's gold dust. Um, so one of the reasons I didn't watch it. So at some point, I'll I will. say I'll say this: like I don't give two shits about Dune. That's for fucking nerds. Don't read books. Like just watch movies, right? <laughs> Um, 
Yeah, it's pretty. It's, it's pretty cool. Okay, it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> like I say that, I watch it like four years. Oh, I did a Doom Pill set. I love it now. Um, we'll, we'll I, it that is extreme okay. style that movie, and I can yeah. see that that the style almost overtakes the substance. But I do think the general plot is still there. Okay. But it's it feels like an old plot because it's been done so many times. The sort of like savior, I just like the spice. That Everyone's book was going, one of the, going one of the first books to do that. So I yeah. just. Yeah, I mean, that's fair enough. It, it's one of those. It, it's a product of, of its time from a story point of view. At, uh, least, like, at least at the end, I Star Wars is, is ripping off Dune, isn't it? Big time. Yeah, and... yeah big time, big, big time. time. And it's Dune uh, is so influential in so many other people's stories. Yeah. And it's also had such a rich history of adaptations and TV, ad- TV show versions of it and kind of like psychedelic versions of it. There's so much stuff in that even in the kind of you know build up to this film yeah. i think i brought all of that into it <clears> i was like yeah I, I felt really kind of like wow what an amazing version that denis villeneuve put out but there's also the jodorowsky version there's also the lynch version and then the frank herbert version there's so many different interpretations of that story and it was really cool to see the director of blade runner 2049 Exactly, and uh, <laughs> uh, I yeah, love yeah. that movie. And also, I will watch it. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> All right. everyone, everyone, it's better in the cinema it. when I you've got the, the yeah. sound. There's yeah. the bit where they're in the storm, yeah. and the sound design. I, I've well. just never experienced anything like that. That was incredible. So uh, it just felt massive. It felt like you're properly. The world can fuck off for three hours. <laughs> you're in this massive cauldron, and it's just like. Wow. Which poster were we talking about? Which poster? That was, was that? Yeah. poster. The yeah. next we yeah. 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 I remember uh, that poster. Yeah. Let's yeah. get back to poster. And Matt also has. A, or, or, or are you? Are you want to say something on do on, on no. the poster itself? Okay, good, done. Then uh, move on to Matt because uh, he. Uh, I mean, he's such a Dune fan that he has uh, uh, two Dune posters in his top five. And first up is the um, Dune poster by Roy <coughs> Kurtz. Matt, talk about it. Yeah, it's absolutely. Brilliant poster. That, like Flory said, that's one of those things that you see a poster and you go, "That's really good." It's, I'd say, it's deceptively simple. Like a lot of Rory's work, it's, it's just so clean and clinical, which is suits the film as well. It's just brilliant, and the, and but it's the type. It's so simple and just there, but it's so perfectly placed. It's just really pleasing to look at. It's just a really, really good poster. The, just really good. I like the soft, like the, this, like, almost like a pink U on it, not like the orange. Yeah, and the composition being diagonal like mm-hmm. that with them placed to the side. And it basically just, has everything in it. Just draws, it's good. It's really good. Yeah. So loads of people hated it, didn't they? I saw lots of people going, oh, it's boring. What? And it's like, well, I saw people saying it was boring, but... I didn't see that. I, I, I think part of that comes from the fact that it's okay, like an inch yeah. wide on your phone and that sucks all the time, every time. Like yeah, true. all these posters need to be up on the wall. If we could somehow like, I don't know, you know, you can go into the paint shop and they got the app now and you can walk around your house and change your wall colors and shit. Mm-hmm. Why can't we get something that projects a poster on the wall from my store so people could go, oh yeah, that'd look all right, eh? Yeah, but like, yeah, but it's a poster sort of, so such a hard... So much of it gets lost at like a small size. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Although, that's it. I guess the thing we have to remember is that, you know, most of the posters we do, you know, I can't speak for all of us, like print runs of usually two or three hundred. So even though the end result is meant to be viewed big, the vast majority of people will only ever see it small. Yeah, so right. to some extent, we have true. to sort of be aware that the lifespan of our poster is, is going to exist as like, you know, this size, mm-hmm. which sort of sucks. Um, but I don't know, it's trying to, you guess you have to try and find that trade-off of detail between knowing that the the real thing is going to be big and that hope that when people see it like they really appreciate it but it still has to work small it's such a such a tricky thing to kind of pull off yeah you we call the it the tiny test the don't tiny we, test, we, yeah, we or, just always or, or stamp test, put, yeah. you, you got to make it <clears throat> tiny on your screen step back and see like does that still work does that pull me in is that the right color and if it does then you're this probably piece, sweet when it's big yeah this piece 100 works but at print size it looks amazing because all of Rory's mm. work looks amazing a print size because he's an incredible painter um, it's just really well done poster yeah he's he's yeah he's one of the best isn't he basically yeah hey, i i kind of hate hate it a little bit it's like that aliens one from a few years ago and the yeah his annihilation is one of the best the, the dark knight one is 
just I'm like yeah graduate <laughs> yeah Damn the list Rory. goes on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The list of Rory's posters. Yeah. They're all yeah. great. He doesn't really miss that much. The last, no, his last really Shadow one is great. Yeah. I love that one. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Tar- okay. Talking about Annoying. some very different That's style. Sad. Can you show me something bad now? <laughs> uh, um, no, no, no. No, no bad here. <laughs> the, next, the next poster we're going to talk about is also a Dune poster, but a totally different style, which is by Nara Maktari. And uh, yeah, Matt, you also picked this one. She she sort of arrived almost with that poster, right? She's yeah. She is she an architect, I think. Yeah, no, yes. she is. Yeah. <laughs> we put out her. Yeah, first James. James. Yeah, knows no, I mean that one. Noticed. That one was the it really, people took notice. Of it, you know yeah. what I mean? And what I like about it is that it's architectural. <laughs> Look, who gives a shit what more art does? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Jimothy. Oh it's yeah, that really, one. The gold. Really, it's another simple one central composition which is a thing i like to do but it's the fact that it's not likenesses and it's one color architectural it's the golden it's just, slinky it's nice it's the golden yeah. slinky catches your slinky, eyes yeah it's a fucking slink pretty good yeah not nada uh, nada is also in the mm. chat sorry if she want to chime in <laughs> no dangerous dangerous yeah I think she's. I think she's talented. We're working with her. No, it's very good. I, I think that that's a wall one as well. Like you got that up in the living room or something, you know, okay. with a dark wall on a dark wall gold, or something. That'd be, it'd be just... gold foil, right, or whatever. Awesome. It's just wicked. Yeah. yeah. Indeed. So I actually prefer. I much prefer this to the last one we looked at, or the last two that we looked at for this film. Just it's just more something that I would hang up. I guess I don't know why. It's also simpler to sell yeah. to. It's more kind of like in world, isn't it? Like that's the kind of style that you would see in the film. Yeah, it's sort of like maybe a, a, a relief on a wall or something like that in one of those mm. long corridors that there's a lot of. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to do that till now, but it does it does feel kind of like appropriate to the aesthetic. Mm. Mm. It's very nice. It's very clean. Mm. Yep, indeed it is, and I think yeah, it would make a good wall piece. I think also the geometric shapes give it like a, for for our people or maybe if. If your wife or whatever is not into uh, 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 the pop culture art of things, I think this would like you know this this is more modern influencer style kind of poster, you know what I mean? And then I mean this was, would uh, be a sell uh, for the wall. Timothy Shamal is a very find... good-looking guy, but you know it turns out you don't <laughs> need him on a poster for June. Yeah, I'd like to try and make slinky. a poster for if June without slinky, the worm slinky. and without him. Like that's that's and this sand. Uh, just I mean, sand. it sort of has. It has the it just has the way <laughs> just sand, sand and a planet, a spaceship. But I think it was something, something that's I, I do like posters. Like we can all fall into this trap where we try to outdraw each other. And I think that is the wrong move. It's concept and it's designer's composition, and that's what's most important. Because like, really, I say this because half the time I can't render for shit. So I'm just trying to make it. I try to make it solid from the base, right? Um, and I think that this is something that definitely does that. It's just purely composition and design and the kind of idea and fitting in with the film in that way. It's really cool. All righty. Then uh, coming back to concept and graphic design, it's Dolly's uh, third poster, which is laced by, I think, Michael Krasnopolsky is the artist. And yeah, Dolly, why did you pick this one? Yeah. I, I what, think... what, what and what and what and who? It's coming up. Go down the it's live thing. Yeah, yeah. you got to watch oh, it. Yeah. You'll see You'll see. Anyway, yeah, I think it's. I like it for the same reason. Just Flory just sort of echoed just right there. It is basically just a beautifully designed poster. It doesn't have to worry about likeness. It is pretty much just here's a you know concept and oh, here's yeah. like perfect execution on it. Um, it's one of those ones like I wish I'd done that. It's like I love that sort of like it's minimalist. It's not trying to push it too hard. It's not overly drawn, which I've become a victim of doing that. The the more I'm getting better at drawing, I'm throwing more and more things at it. And I was like, what, just pare it back down again to where I was at the beginning where I couldn't draw for shit. Hence, I had to just like rely on just a very strong concept. So I, it, it's kind of like a reminder from that point of view. It's like, stop throwing the kitchen sink at everything and, you know, pare your work back down again. So, yeah, I love it from that point of view. It's just very minimal. What is the movie about? Design. Anybody? Yeah, what is laced? I've never heard of it. No it's idea. Legend. I just really like the poster. I, I saw it, I think, last week or the, about two weeks ago. Um, yeah, it's not awesome. I thought, 
I just thought that's just like that was something that I would I have no art on my walls, but that is something I would have on my wall. Um, so it passed that test. I was wondering uh, if the if the like if if it's two faces again on the smoke when I saw it like like yeah, yeah. a glimpse, you know, with the yeah, this yeah, yeah, yeah. If those two faces close together, just you know, about yeah, to kiss. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, but it's it's got intrigue to it. Like it's just giving you something about the story, and you want to yeah. know more. It's like you know you have like you have posters that are are made after you watch the film. Then there's posters which are like teaser posters. This is that sort of thing, and this is gives me intrigue to watch, actually interest to watch a film. So yeah, really, really like that piece. Great, indeed. All right, then let's move on to another very minimalistic poster, and this is uh, Phantom City Creative, and they did it this year. Oh yeah, yeah, another one. Yeah, they it, they released it this year. I think they drew it the year the film came out, or last year, or something. Yeah. But it actually got released yeah. this year. Mm-hmm. Years ago. I was surprised it's only came out this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was, I was kind of glad at the same time because I really, it's one of those poses like it is perfectly done, and you know, um, Phantom City, they, they, they're masters at doing this in a sense, balancing um, execution and idea, um, and yeah, just a really strong poster. And it's it, once again, it's just like it's very minimal in what it is, and I really like that the economy of ink that goes into a poster like this, and it's so strong without having to oversell it. Um, yeah, perfect sort of poster design, especially for that film. Yeah, indeed it is. It's very, uh, as you said, I mean, very simple, but it takes you to the point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this was number six for me on mine, if I if they were in order or whatever, because it's one of those films where, okay, so how do I make something that's actually, and not that this is appealing to Hang, but how do I make something that's not like horrible <laughs> for this for this film? Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. that someone would actually want to put up in their house. Um <laughs> And I think that's as close as you're ever going to get. It's really clever. It's somewhat simple. And the master stroke, I think, is just making those blood drips yeah. go up. Yeah. It just, or it just, it just, that sets it, it off floats, for me. Man. That's it the, floats. It, it floats. Things. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's, it's, it adds yeah. a surrealist sort of edge to it, which is good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. It's that gravity defying bit. Yeah. That just adds that little bit. Without it, I think the early version of this might not have had it. I've seen versions of it without it, and this I think is the one that got released this year. It has the you know inverted drips, and I think that just makes it perfect because then they, it oh, reminds so the, you of that film. The tiny cracks in, at mm-hmm. the top, I think. Are, are they going through? Yeah, it starts yeah, yeah, in the middle. Yeah. The, the cracks of the wall or whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's like like peeling paint sort of effect, mm-hmm. um, which you have on you know if didn't you want to. Didn't even know that. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't even see it. Very faint detail. There's all those little like little touches. They're not wasted. Um, it's one of those ones you could really admire for a long time because there's. There's so little there, but there's so much, so much there at the same time. Um, so yeah, mm. what, I'm glad they released it this year, so I could add it into the top. Yeah, and uh, also Tons. there are some uh, other, uh, or one other, uh, Phantom City Creative poster, which uh, are, is on two lists. Flory picked this one, and also James picked this one, and it's uh, none other than the Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring, the variant by Flory here, and the um, oh, I just the rag. By James, but yeah, guys, talk about. I just threw, I just threw whatever. Gandalf hat, Mine is too. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. So I just threw whatever. I didn't even know. Like this is the first time I saw this poster was last night when oh, he said he's uh, Tom was Tom was like, hey, pick five posters. And I, was like, well, I don't like any posters. Like, what do I do? What do I do? Um, but Phantom City have to be on every list of best ofs because they they pretty much nail every single thing that they put out. Again, annoying. Um, I've said it plenty of times, pound for pound. I think they're probably the best going like out of all of us I mean, they want a bunch of clears they're just their type is always immaculate like their concepts are always really good and they draw stuff real good too real good. um i just like this it looks really good I, I really like the type treatment like all of it i think i know there's another two which i don't think and this is not knocking but like i don't think they're as successful as this one and possibly because you know fellowships just mm. Oh, it's got a lot more. It's got like all this iconic shit to just pull from for like a to start off the journey. I don't know. James, it's just cool. What do you I see? like it. Uh, exactly okay. what Flores. Yeah, said. James, a man of few words as always. We know how that Sorry, works. easy. <laughs> give it the stamp, James. Give yeah, it the it's stamp. the Hobson approved. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll give it a stamp okay. on the on the back. <laughs> I don't want to ruin the the front artwork. But yeah, like. <clears throat> I want to hang this basically mm. but there's a lot like this year was okay but i think there's very few posters where i'd be like i want this this is one mm. that you know it seems kind of iconic to me it seems like something that ollie would yeah. you know come yeah. out with and it would kind of like stand the test yeah, if i'm time. honest i i i saw this 
and uh, uh, James Jean's uh, Everything Ever All at Once in the finale of the poster tournament, but it came different. <laughs> But yeah, mm. so uh, the other guys, you want to say something about this poster? Because I think it's also very lovely. But... It's a good poster. There you go. There you go. It's good. It's really good. Awesome. I don't and think plus... it's their best best poster, but Which one do you then think again, we're only picking year? from this year, aren't we? So, I, yeah. well, I don't know well, what else they've done this year. It's probably their best <laughs> one this year. Okay, okay. What, so, well, what's your, what's your favorite from them? What, me? Uh, overall? Or... A- I like Alien. I think oh, Alien's okay. really good. All right, fair enough, fair enough. It was it was insane how quickly this came together. I remember Ericsson showing me like a sketch on like a Monday, and then by Wednesday there was a finished painting. Like the speed that they work is absolutely blinding. I hate it. And then like I wish you never told then, me then, that. like three days later there was the two towers, and then like a week after that there was Return of the King, and I was still like chiseling away hundreds of tiny lines on something, <laughs> and Ericsson had knocked out three incredible posters that all sit beautifully together. And just sitting there thinking, how did he do that? Yeah, especially mm. the hair rendering. Must have a that. magic hairbrush. Yeah. Yeah. The hair is beautiful. Hey, it's an incredible team. They do such such good work. But just makes you want to yeah, quit. Their Batman it? was amazing. Yeah, forget it. Well. I'm done. Like, the Batman they did was <laughs> so good. All the jigsaw pieces. Oh, yeah. By great. the way, if, if the whole um, the whole trilogy of them, like they made really interesting choices on. The Two Towers and Return of the King as well. Like, one's choices that you wouldn't normally think of. Like, the choice for Fellowship is an obvious one, but it's also, it's been done to a really incredible level. But then the choices for the other two are somewhat, they surprise you. And that's always interesting. Kind of, that film has had a lot of posters made for it. And like, well, that trilogy has had a lot of posters made for it. And it's a, it's always fun to see something that kind of like, you know, hits you a little bit different and that, that's what i like about all three of them uh together so yep but even yeah. even just being dark like that like it, it doesn't you don't often see that in most because there's like 80 billion fucking posters for these films obviously and rightly so like it's a pretty big trilogy pretty big <laughs> made, a, made a bit of coin lots of people saw it um, you make the ones just, that sell aren't you yeah you just don't often i don't know this the yeah the dark and light of it all sort of took me back all right. Then uh, let's move on to some uh, posters because uh, we're going to talk about this artist because he has two posters uh, by uh, Matt Taylor and uh, Dolly that picked this guy. Uh, Rafa Orico, is it? And uh, he turned out the crow and the thing poster we're going to talk about in the same breath here and uh, yeah james and i we talked like when mondo came out with uh, rafa orico's style of posters he did the jaws posters which are totally different and fe- feel very fresh in terms of uh, uh what the scene think i think needs and uh yeah we we love these and uh dolly let's let's hear it from you and then uh we can uh have matt also chime in yeah, got to see this in person at Thought Ball this year. Um, and it's just amazing work. It's like, it's one of the few posters that made me kind of fall in, back in love with poster art again. Um, I guess we when we work in it so solidly and we see a lot of like what goes behind the scenes and everything else. And this was just so fresh in in its approach to a film that I've watched many, many times. Um, and it's, it's like there's there's so much more to be done with type um, and not having everything super polished and rendered to the nth degree, which I'm, I'm getting trying to get away from. Um, but this is this is beautiful work. Um, and I, I could just look at it for hours. It's just one of those things. It just grabs you straight away. And there's there's so much to it. I think the type, of course, I mean, if you took away the type, it wouldn't be as as poignant for me. I think the type really makes it. Um, and I like that it's kind of, in a way, breaking the rules of a lot of typography, but that really works for it. It's just a masterpiece of, of a poster. Oh, okay. Indeed. Yeah, that's it. And then um, this is the, the thing poster I was talking about. I, th- I hope, Matt, uh, you were talking about this one uh, when you see it. And, uh, yeah, uh, what are your thoughts on that? Okay, well, I mean, um, yeah, yes and no. They're they're both great. They're both excellent posters. Um, to be honest, I probably would have picked the crow as my choice, okay. but I saw that it was on people's lists as well. To be honest, I could have done a top five of the year just of Rafa's work. His he's the best poster artist that popped up popped up this year. And I think for similar reasons that Dolly was saying, like I have been quite I really struggled to find five posters I like this year. I've found 
and like no disrespect to all of us working here, but like son of a I bitch, quite you fucker. <laughs> I found it boring <laughs> to you, you know. Like I feel like all the poster has gone from being something which had a really like diverse um, mix of styles and approaches to basically we all kind of just not all of us, but like tracing over stock art or like working from references that already exist and. It's just, it doesn't feel like it feels like a, a thing in and of itself, but it doesn't feel exciting in the way that it did maybe 10 years ago. And this, like, this reminds me of the early Mondo stuff. Like, I wish there were more people out there, like, doing work like Rob Jones and Jay Shaw and things that were interesting and creative. And this is like, this is great. I want this on my wall. And the, most of the stuff out there I don't want on my wall. Like, I love it. I love Rory's work and. Phantom City and um, like I could have picked stuff by OB um, but the things that have been interesting this year for me is like this um, Sham's work um, Dolly Your Fly poster hey, like, for a book. feel a bit weird and like they shouldn't yeah, be no, I yeah. don't want my all posters to just basically look like key art otherwise yeah. what's the point like key oh, art exists it should be this sort of thing you know and yeah I, mean, I want to work with Rafa I want to do drawings and then get him to do type over them because I think that would be exciting. Um, but yeah, this stuff's great. I mean, it's the same with all my choices. My top five aren't really like... Yeah, we're going to elaborate on that in a second here. Anybody... I, just want to, I want to just interject a little bit there um, and agree. Uh, as we've got more successful, because we're all getting older, like 10 years ago when we first started and we were doing stuff for galleries with no rules and we did whatever we wanted, you could do that sort of stuff, but then as you do more commercial work and stuff and you have constraints of time and art direction and so on and so forth, it can be tricky to do that. So it's refreshing when stuff like that can get through and then it will obviously have an effect. And Because I've, I've been saying to, to Flory for ages that I kind of like want to do less of the bullet composition stuff, thing in the middle, stuff around it. And more of like weird Polish posters and things. I just want to do yeah, something. Goes along the lines there. Different because yeah. you you do you do, especially when you're doing commercial work. It's it's almost the job to do it that way. Which is not bad, obviously, because it's designed mm -hmm. to appeal to as many people as possible. But um, yeah, something different like that can be more interesting to us creative types, mm. but not well, necessarily that's... outside of that sphere. I don't think. Matt, I reckon you're probably like in the same boat as me that like it's it's quite easy for you to and like no disrespect silhouettes on a Dutch angle in the same way it's easy for me to just like draw all of the stuff in teal and teal and blue yeah 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 and orange it's like people come to us and they ask for that yeah and it's fine and like and you do sort of I mean you know I did Spidey this year and I could have done something wild or silly with it but essentially I landed on his Spider Man hear all the things, try and make it look as interesting as I can within the constraints of that, because I know that's really what the audience will go for. But stuff like Rafa's work is, this is, I look at this and this is the work that I want to make. And in fact, I've just done, I've done a, I'm doing a couple of things for Mondo at the moment, which I'm trying to go, not like quite this direction, but more like this, more like the Have, Having fun with it, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit it's, like the Dark Man poster, which is my favourite poster. It's not. It's dangerous in that way, isn't it? But it's, it, it's so difficult to break out and do that sort of thing because we're commercial artists and we're doing stuff to try and sell to people yeah, yeah. at the end of the yeah, day. It's so it's, it's interesting. Yeah. You need to pay the bills. And it's quite a, a bit of a tug of war, really, I guess. To, to be honest, like, I, always, I feel to like. like to... Oh, sorry, James, you go. No, I was just going to say, like, from a gallery point of view, it's sometimes difficult to sell that to licenses as well. Yeah, true. When Absolutely. they see their their IP like presented in a completely different, more creative way, like. Um, so, I do, I do I sometimes there's, there's, feel there's like a I. For both, for sure. Yeah, I do sometimes feel like I'm. I'll watch a film or I'll come up with an idea and I go, fuck, that is not something that I can make and get through and whatever. And I kind of feel like I want to go back 10 years and just like make it on a Sunday and just post it online. But then I know that's an absolutely terrible idea <laughs> and I shouldn't be doing that. But there is that, there obviously is that pull inside all of us to just like, just make shit. Like we don't, we're not in this for the money as much as we need money to live. Don't um, say that so, publicly, dude. It, <laughs> totally. Well, that's true. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, for, I'm in it for important. 100 grand a year or something, but I don't need, do you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't need the world. I just want to make things that I enjoy yeah. making and that are fun. And there's a big, there's a oh, constant, like, I look like this, I look like the guy on the thing with my head just revolving on the inside. <laughs> like, there's a push and pull between all that stuff. And I don't know. Yeah. Um, uh, obviously, our lives are very difficult. <laughs> when they're not really, are they? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> sat in rooms yeah, with toys yeah. so I think pictures. part of, I think I, I did a lot of like gallery not gallery sorry studio and like commissioned work this year and didn't do as much gallery work which is kind of for me for next year it's like <coughs> a lot of gallery work because that's generally the stuff that I want to do and it hasn't got like the art director telling me how to style it and so forth or it needs to fit, fit the film and so forth so I'm looking forward to like hopefully breaking a few more rules next year and maybe not selling as much, but just having fun with it. Or if it's the case, just like I'll do it for fun. If I put it on social and people love it and then the gallery wants to pick it up, then I'll do it that way rather than making it for the gallery to sell a print. Let's just shove it online, get enough likes, a gallery will put it out there and license it, which for most of my stuff that really sells really well. Yeah. That's how it's come, come, come about. So I'll go with my gut a bit more um, and just have fun. Yeah, because it's stuff like this. It's just like this reminds me of back, you know, 10 years when a lot of us were starting out. And yeah. it's like we 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 were crap to a degree, but we, it was so raw and like amazing to see different styles and different things just um, coming into play that this is this reminds me of those heydays of really enjoying poster art. Um, so yeah, this I really want to get back you to sure that. sure you're not just getting old and it's just I'm like getting old. Look at the greys. Look at the greys. tinted so. glasses. It was wonderful yeah, 10 years ago when it's, it's, I couldn't afford to pay the rent. Just imagine how good Rafa's going to be in 10 years. <laughs> yeah. I just hope he can or keep he'll that. he'll just be tracing that. over uh, key art. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he might end up like Jay, an absolute, you know, superstar designer doing, you yeah. know, graphic design for the great and good and wherever Jay is now. Uh, you better not forget this yeah. moment. Get praise yeah, for all of us. I mean, wonderful but yeah uh speaking of some more wonderful work uh matt taylor you also uh chose sarah wong i think is it the bride frankenstein yes i mean it's it goes in the same way i, I also remember james and i we were talking about it on a show as well and yeah it, these are it goes in the same vein of what mondo is doing and um that is uh, maybe other bigger galleries uh are uh that are basically uh going more the same the same kind but this is different as well oh yeah this one love this this is the only poster i bought this year i think yeah this is the only poster i actually bought to hang on my wall i'm going to put it on my wall as soon as it comes in it's so good it's such such a beautiful drawing um she's i think she's one of the best like illustrators that is working in the poster scene right now like just really bold creative choices and I did the coloring the type is wonky and sort of um sorry it looks like I'm not looking at you guys but I've got you on the tv as well so I'm looking at the picture on the big screen which is what I'm getting yeah I've got my phone down here so I just yes, keep I'm going getting... yeah I'm also <laughs> looking at the posters um, I'm not looked, so I'm gonna look yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah Sarah's every every poster she's done has been beautiful um the universal monster series that she seems to be working through is Mondo mm -hmm. are beautiful um i think i think the first one she's done with them was moonlight maybe a few yeah, years I ago I remember yeah i might have to check that but again like she hasn't put a foot wrong and i'm really glad that mondo are still sort of keeping it weird and you know mitch is still or and eric and rob are still seeking out new artists who don't have a foothold in the kind of poster community yeah. and I, I hope that people see this and then go and look at her other work and I don't know, like I remember when I started working with Mondo, like my career, and I'm sure a lot of you guys, like when you start working on licensed stuff, your career sort of starts going whoop because the studios see it and then they come and talk to you and you do other, you know, you do kind of key art and official work. And like I hope someone sees Sarah's work and gives, gives her all of the jobs because like I don't, this might be my favorite from the year actually. I think, I think it's... Okay. Oh. Perfect. Uh, by the way, if Izzy want to chime in, she always can. Izzy, what do you think of this poster? <laughs> pretty, pretty good. <laughs> I, 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 pretty good. My favorite poster. I'm not sure. Are we going to talk about Izzy's one? <laughs> sure, I, we can. Yeah. Let's do it now. Okay. I'll, okay. I'll pull no, it up. No it's, yeah, you can you talk about it. Do you, you say who it is? And not now. Yeah. Yeah. Come on then. You've you've asked. Is it is it uh, Dangerous Nightmare Alley? Yeah. 
Just pulled up the the red, so, the red, the red one. That's a yeah. good movie, that as well. I think um, I don't know. For me, it feels like one of those pictures that's always existed. And what I mean by that is that I can't. I just can't even fathom a sketch. I just feel like he's like carved it out of the screen. Like it feels like it's always been there. Um, and yeah, I think as someone who draws a lot of detailed stuff in my own work, I'm drawn to all the minimalist stuff that everyone else has been sharing. But I get excited when I see maximalist stuff done really well and it's still super clear and because the values are great and how he's done detail. I just, yeah, I love it. I think it's really cool. Um, love the colors as always, but yeah. This is a every like everything possible, and I love how detailed the rendering is. So yeah, there you go, people. Yeah, he's an absolute nutcase. Like who who goes out and says I'm going to do this extremely detailed thing just with little lines? Yeah, like who the what, what kind yeah. of mental case would do it's that? Not right. Well, I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's that's Dan, isn't it? His he's the best. <laughs> he's the absolute best. Yeah, he's an absolute beast. And again, like with like with Phantom City, the speed at which he works is absolutely mind boggling. Tell you that. Um, <laughs> And he, you know, he'll he's, he'll show you a concept, and then again, like two days later, there'll just be this finished thing. And I mean, I, he works really smart with colors as well, like the because he's got such a good background knowledge of screen printing that he knows how to layer and get the most out of sort of I, like three or four colors. I love the Star Wars uh, shadow box he did. That was like that was pretty yeah, pretty cool. Oh yeah, that was cool actually. Yeah. It's and different. By the way, people, uh, it's uh, Izzy Burton Illustrates, or what is it, uh, Izzy? On Instagram, uh, I like to go. I like to go with director first. Oh, okay, director. What's, that's what we want. That's what. That's the <laughs> ideal scenario. But what's what's director the handle? What's your handle on this? Um, Burton Art. Oh, there you go, Izzy Burton Art. People, check yeah. her out. But she is director Izzy Burton. Well, one okay. one day we hope. <laughs> that's that's the <laughs> new handle. <No>. Yeah. <laughs> I see. All right, guys. Um, uh, then let's uh, go over to Flory's uh, first uh, choice here. Um, it is uh, They uh -oh. Live by a Strong Stuff, uh, Tom Whaler. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, so I art directed this that. thing. Hey. hey. This thing is shouldn't be good, <laughs> but it is because Tom Whalen did it. Bastard. And he is a master of color and composition and it just goes to show that that's kind of and just placement of line like that he's it's i don't know he's another one that's really in the wing um because there's just a perfection to it that can be difficult to achieve but he seems to do it pretty much yeah. every single poster and i've said i think what actually pushed this over the edge i, I did like it when i saw it online I actually liked it there was like a crop of sort of like the first half and i was like holy shit what is this that's perfect love those colors um, and then i saw the actual print when i came over for thought bubble and it was it's just incredible like his color choices like I'm, that kid's sending pantones to those printers for sure <laughs> like which is oh, something no, i does, can never, yeah, be asked, never be asked to do because it looks amazing <coughs> I just love it. indeed 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 best person to, one of the best artist art direct is tom whalen we've worked with him quite a few times and the art direction goes like this can you make me a poster for they live and then a poster for They Live arrives. <laughs> James, James, how was it for I can you? second that, yeah. I can exactly that. It's like, yeah, make a Transformers the movie poster. Here's a rough which looks like the fucking final. Yeah. Um, and then here's an amazing version of that rough that you got. It's like insane. And then the follow-up after. It's like, I'll work with the, I'll work with the printers. Like, he's I just know a brilliant... He's just, he's just so good. He's yeah, so he's, good. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. But makes me feel ashamed to be a professional <laughs> <laughs> but yeah uh, also uh, as uh, mad uh, flory picked uh, the same movie twice and he picked also this oliver barrett they live poster is that the one with the mm -hmm. the torn yeah 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 that's a really good yeah. but polish weird yeah sort of that was my, like, number six <laughs> again. in my list i was it's a really good that, one so yeah, that was really cool. Who picked that? You did. Oh, I picked that. You did. <laughs> oh, I, I, just, I had right. it as my number six, but then I saw you had it. Then I thought, okay, someone's already got it in yeah, there. Yeah, so there was cool. a bit of that. There was a bit of that. I was like, well, some of my choices are like, what will no one pick that I think deserves some sort of recognition, you know? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And my fucking, I mean, oh. this, and, and yeah, this is why another one that's pick like... Any of James's art? What, what did you do, James? <laughs> what was it, Jim? Hey, you know what? Fiction? That Clockwork bloody... Orange. 
No, that, that um, yeah. what the Clockwork Orange. It, it was I was like it was in the it was in the toss up for real. It's the I, I remember seeing that. that makes it boom. Yeah, that's what makes you've it. Seen it. Yeah, <laughs> there's a whole there's a whole screen layer just for that dot. Yeah, awesome. yeah that's that annoying. Was, that's cool. Um, but that that was it. It was in the it was in the, it was in the toss up, and then I knew that you were going to be on the podcast. I was like, absolutely not. I can't give him any <laughs> no. anything. <here." laughs> Brilliant. Oh. But this lay live poster is good. I like it, and I think it's another one of those where it, on the if that was in someone's house, you'd go, holy shit, what is that? Like a big red thing. Um, and I'll I just, just say, really... Glory, this no. isn't blowing smoke up your ass, but your They Live poster, which wasn't this year, is yeah. one of the best posters for They Live. Mm. Mm. There you go. Thank you. I, I couldn't pick it, obviously, because it wasn't this year, but I would have if yeah, I, yeah. Um, of if I could. Top, top five They Live posters, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but just the just the rendering and everything, like even old mate's um, chin and neck, you're just like, oh, geez, that's really sort of, it's got a whole thing about it. Like there's an, even though he's just put a man's head on a poster, really, there's a lot of energy to it. Um, I really like. Yeah. Should have been pink, though. <laughs> Should have been pink, though. Hey. <laughs> but yeah, uh, speaking of people that are uh, on the podcast here, Flory also picked this Studio Ghibli poster. He actually picked two, but. This is the first one by uh, oh, by yep. Mr. Oh, yeah. Mr. Murgai himself. Oh, risky, mm. risky! Here we go. <laughs> this you guy ready? makes He's back. He's back. Did no, you pick yeah. Totoro? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Because Totoro is Sham's best poster that he's made ever in his whole life. I think so too. Um, All the versions are. Mm-hmm. And and I would really like to actually get one. So there's. Oh, so you just said it so you out. can get one for me. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> yeah. No, um <laughs> this is another one where I was like I've seen I think I've seen this in another colorway or mm-hmm. something at some point. I think Tom might have actually been it talking is, about it before, three of them. like at some point. Um and I was like, yeah, that's cool. Whatever, don't care. <laughs> and then then I actually pulled up like the big one last night. I was like, oh fuck, he's done a whole thing in here. I I'm a little bit obsessed at the moment. This is going to be a long one. I'm a little bit obsessed at the moment with old Japanese Famicom carts and games and stuff, and going back and looking at those manuals and all that sort of stuff. And also, and there's a similar like vibe in. I'm assuming some of this. I can see like in the old mate in the mums in the taxi and stuff there from the is that the end credit sort of illustrations and stuff like that, which are incredible. And I don't know, it's just got this whole, this vibe that I really enjoy. And I think the compositionally, it's a little bit mental, which works again with like the magic and the kind of weirdness of the film, because it is a bit weird when you really think. We've all seen it like a thousand times over the last however long. And it is fucking weird. Like every time my wife walks out and that cat bus is on, she's like, what is this doing on again? I can't watch that thing. Like it's too weird. And I was like, well, I don't know, the kids love it. It's great. Um, Your kids this cry is, when, just the, is perfect. when the composition when the... is perfect. I think your style, Sham, <coughs> this yeah. is an evolution that I needed to see. Like, you've got this thing that's working and is really cool and really fun. And I think the, like, especially the 2001 and, like, the those era of films, like, it can work. It works perfectly. And why is my mm-hmm. fucking Siri thing going off? Here we go. Um, it works really well. But then I don't know. I'm I'm assuming that would be difficult to adapt to to like a, probably your Scarlet Witch poster would have been really maybe hard to come up with. I don't know. But I think this slight evolution in like okay, we're shifting the palette. It's a bit softer. We've got. It's not so much about whatever the pattern is doing as well. It's more that energy and that and that kind of like weaving of things is coming from the elements instead. I just. I just really enjoy it. It's a really pleasing poster to look at, and I think it's great. Can can you send Thank one? You very can much. you send one to <laughs> to Matthew Floy Ryan? In, uh, <laughs> I'll buy it. In Australia, can, there's one hanging around. You can have to ask Ken um, from Spoke because he was the art director on this private commission. I I may get a few oh, copies. Of no, well, you've not I'm got sure copies. I'm oh, through. I would be no, livid. No. <laughs> I think I'm. I haven't got them yet. Like it's it's gone to the printers and it's ready to go. Okay. And I think there will be some spares. Um, but yeah, as soon as I it's get fine, fine. some spares, please let me know. 
But the original idea for this poster was just going to be the cat burst going round and round and round, like into the center of the poster, like, <laughs> yeah, right. con just continuously going round and round with a tiny Totoro in the middle of it. And um, I very quickly realized that that was not going to sell very well. Um, but then I started building and building and I kept sending kind of, this was the first one that I did where I did just didn't send a final drawing to the commissioner and say, it's done. I sent a bit at a time and every single time, thinking it was finished and every single time, sign of a good art director, Ken, she was like, just keep pushing it further. Just keep pushing it further. Like, I just want to see you take it to the next level. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I think this is the result of me just, you know, adding more and more layers and then there's a little red, um, I'm looking at it now, there's like a little uh, line drawing of a load of the mini Totoros, you know, around mm. the edge of the poster. And they start from the middle, um, you know, and there's kind of like a, they're all crawling around the side. It's all very weird and it just pushes itself even further. So get ready for that in 2023, basically, because it's going to keep getting Sick. weirder, yeah. <laughs> I think. Good. Um, but the the fun thing was to do the three variants. Mm. I really enjoyed, um, I think, I mean, I suggested it. It wasn't, originally it came with the kind of one, which is the colors that were more traditionally me, the big, bright, bold colors, which feels like, um, I don't know, something you would see in Japan, if I'm honest, like something that Ghibli would put out themselves as a, as a poster. And then we thought we better make the one with the natural colors for the actual fans of the film. <laughs> And then I pushed for a midnight variant where it was, I don't know, it's, it's illegible, basically. You can barely see the line drawing behind all the craziness. And all of these three are going to be printed on foil, I believe. And yeah, the little, the spots are going to be the kind of foil showing through. It is the same effect I had on my June poster, but I just, I have to Which do it again awesome. for this one. That Thank you. Thank you. so good. It's, it's a lot of fun. But of I, I wouldn't have never thought of that, but... It works so well. Tiny little dots revealing foil. It works I, so good. It's I stole the, the idea from um, Dolly, to be honest, because Dolly used it on his Lord of the Rings poster <laughs> with the, the one ring. And I was like, right, how can I show foil without showing loads of it? And it's through tiny little dots. So I think I've used that dot pattern again on a poster coming out <laughs> next year. And, and on a cover design as well. Mm -hmm. But after that, it's retired. Okay, obviously. good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, but yeah, Flory, uh, that's not your only uh, Studio Ghibli movie you picked. And uh, I forgot by who it was, but uh, this is uh, Studio Cogli uh, no, Studio uh, Castle of Cogliostro. Oh, yeah, Bosma, is it? Sam Bosma, something like that. You, you know, I, I forgot, but I think James I and I talked what, about what, this what, one. I'd love this as well. Yeah, it's incredible. It's I mean, it. I just, I can't fathom it. <laughs> like how, um, it's like you can go, I'm going to do this scene, right? But then just the ability to sort of throw it on from that perspective and kind of have everything going up into the distance there. It's it, it just an incredible rendering. And, like, that's this dude's a fucking... He's absolutely... Okay, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 cool. It's just fucking cool. I mean... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what much, much to say about it. Like, the colours are perfect. The, the composition and, the, and obviously the drawing itself is just incredible. And, man, he draws a good car as well, which is fucking impossible. So. <laughs> Hey, come Five on. points there. You do, you do Transformers, so hey. <laughs> ah, yeah, a big robot man. That's a different. Oh, yeah. Could, could it, turn it's into a really car. True. True. We can talk if you want to talk about Transformers. We can start. Yeah, well, that. we do that. We do that in a second. <laughs> but uh, first up, we got some couple more of uh, James's poster here because I think James needs to be out at, at some point, right, James? At some point. Sorry, all right, all right. Around. Okay, first up is, uh, is it Jay Gordon? I think it's Jay Gordon, yeah? Midsummer. Yeah. There have obviously been so many Midsummer prints around. Um, and they all basically feature Florence with her headdress and stuff and the flowers. Um, <clears throat> when I saw this one, it was a private yeah, I forgot about this one. It's it like, just uh... seems to sum... Yeah, it just seems to sum absolutely everything up. Like the whole like 
folk part of it. You've got tiny little drawings there. And I don't know. It's it's really difficult to explain why I like this one, but everything just seems to come together, and it is mm. midsummer. It's kind of like totally sick, totally bright daylight, but horrific. I, I don't know. It just seems to somehow. Yeah. I I really enjoyed this one too. Uh, when when I saw it at the beginning of the, I think it was in the was in the first couple of weeks. I think when when this came out, like early uh, at the year, and this one was pretty pretty dope. I think. What was the rest thinking? Yeah, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. Oh, uh, Sean would uh, love that. I I knew he'd love that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at it now, just seeing the characters with their kind of flowers that are coming out of their mouths and their eyes and shit like. Yeah, I love it. I love it to bits. Um, it's cool seeing the the drawings that are in the film, the ones that are actually like in on the inside of the kind of cabins, mm. you know, those like traditional drawings that had been made for the film. Like they're like in the background, kind of a bit faint. Um, yeah, it's cool. It's what I tried to do with mine, like, you know, but I didn't want to make it this grotesque. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, speaking of some uh, very crazy posters that a lot of people liked, and uh, yeah, this is uh, James Jeans, Everything, Everybody, All at Once. And this is, I mean, I have a key, like, the, not, the, uh, the, the, not the key art, but uh, the, the one sheet for this one. And I was so disappointed by the one sheet because I saw the, the, the embellished versions. Oh, you got this one? Oh, Char Charm, I hate you. Put it back. Kaleidoscope. <laughs> it's a kaleidoscope. Still... Guess what? I'm going to do a kaleidoscope poster next year. It so, because, you know, the trend down. is real. <laughs> the trend is real. It's uh, the, the art print itself is insane. It's got like, yeah, yeah it's... there's 3D embossed bits and foil bits. It must have cost an absolute fortune. I mean, it's made. 500 a pop, so hey, come on. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's going, he can afford it. Hey, I'm, I'm still sad that I didn't get it. I, was, still... I think his Pinocchio might be better, yeah. though. I really like that Pinocchio post. That was pretty I funny. bought that one. You did, yeah, too? the Pinocchio one is... Uh, yeah, yeah, the Pinocchio one is, is just, better than it's just everything beautiful. everywhere. To be yeah, honest. that's that's definitely yeah. on my top list as well here. I like this one a lot. This is... I mean, this is just crazy. I mean, his his uh, uh, original art is also uh, cool, but uh, I think with his like posters, he knocks it out of the park for me personally. So I love this one. Very talented. Yeah, James Dean like is interesting because he came, it was, he used to do, I think I came across him, he used to do comic covers, right? Fables and all that sort of stuff. Mm. Um, I even met him. He came to Melbourne. I went and had a little book, one of his books, bought that and signed. Seemed like a very nice man. Um, and then he's, because it's just like, it just popped off. Like they're just doing these fucking massive paintings and art shows all over, everywhere. And now back to posters were just like two absolute bangers. Like, Obviously, they're really good films too, which helps. Like, uh, I would, I don't know. Sometimes you get like the big name, and he does the amazing poster for the shit film, and it's sort of like, I don't know, is it still a good poster? Or, uh, do I care about it? Probably not. But these are really good, both of them, the Pinocchio and the Everything Everywhere or Everywhere Around, all at the same time. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. indeed. And uh, that's not the only Everything Everywhere All at Once poster we have. We also have the one of the. I think it was. Uh, in the running because uh, it was concept art and uh yeah charm you picked akiko St sternberger's poster for that movie yes it tells a completely different story <laughs> than the james jean poster right? yeah it's but but it also tells the same story that's what's amazing but about a different artist interpretation you have to say she did she didn't see the film she before, did not. when she did, she did not. And it says, I mean, her oh. approach is far more similar to what the Daniels first film was, which was Swiss Army Man, like a kind of like, <laughs> I don't know, heartfelt drama about a farting corpse. Okay. But <laughs> the poster design she's done fits more with the way they told that story. And, it, you know, it Basically, she's going on, I don't know this, but she may have gone on their previous film and then made something in tune with what she thought it might look like. Yeah, but also... She just read the script, so... It yeah. was literally like I mean, going the, on visuals from... The receipts film. are basically... The receipts are, I mean, her different lives, obviously, because she does a text, uh, text write-off on the things. She is in a different characters. It's just... It's also just a cool poster. Like, it's a weird concept. It's like everything kind of like smashed into the um, I don't know what Spike. that is like the, the receipt but yeah 
the receipt thing. It, it was just really fun seeing it after the James Jean poster and just, uh, you know, allowing that uh, different artists can have different interpretations. And I don't know, I think that you can get fans of both poster, you know, it's a, uh, it's a really fun one. And I imagine there's a shit ton of loads of details, you know, in those receipts that kind of like speak um more of a story uh about what her intentions were mm. for the film and stuff it yeah i really like it i like it my choices are all they're a bit it's like one thing in the middle of a poster but it's it's got a kind of double image mm. you know a visual pun to it so um yeah, yeah. i loved it all right and uh, speaking of another akiko poster is also by charm um it's the batman poster by uh akiko uh, for mondo which is also reversible. I mean, more like, you know. Oh, yeah. Akiko's had a um, good year, hasn't she? Yeah. She has a good year. <laughs> True. Year. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> she, makes the, she makes some amazing posters. Yeah, I don't know what it is about. I, I had Phantom City's Batman on here as well, but I had to, like, choose one Batman poster, and I chose Akiko's purely because, again, it just feels so different. It's so bold. It's so bold. It's just like, you're just going to put this giant black on red on this poster. It feels, again, very fresh. It feels, but also um, like something from the 60s. Uh, yeah, Polish film poster vibes. It's it's great. And I, I like the one, there's another one that goes with it, right? Yeah. yeah. Cat, you know, oh, the tail. Yeah. The cat tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, and she she did this for Mondo, right? So like, it's really, really bold. And that's what I like about it. I think I just... Um, I'm always attracted to the shit that I can't do myself. So <laughs> um, this was a this was a big one for me. Yeah, I didn't buy it though. I should have got it. Should have got it. Should have. What does everyone else think about this one? Do they do they like the? Uh, I like the bets. The Kiko the mouth as the bets. <clears throat> is it the? One, yeah, see, I'm not looking at the, at the live stream because I'm a cretin. Um, is it the one that can go upside down? Yeah yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Well, any, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. Anything that does that, I always like. I like, I like a poster that can be displayed at a different angle. That also annoys me that you, you remind me of that because I just pitched a poster that can be displayed upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, <laughs> shit. No, oh, well, it's not like Batman. So they're going to say no, aren't they? Gonna say no. I'll, I'll do the usual. Hey. <laughs> Something boring. Yeah. Okay, um, <laughs> let's let's get back to James here. And uh, James, uh, no, uh, the next pick for James is um, Blade Runner by uh, Haley Turnbull. Oh, yeah, good <laughs> um, yeah, very simple. Yeah, I just wanted to effective. go something completely different. Yeah, it's sort of, she's she's uh, she works in key art basically, so um, it's not really illustration stuff that Haley does. But with this one, she kind of did a half and half. She kind of painted over the um, the uh, the image, the f uh, photograph. <clears throat> so it's kind of got this like otherworldly feel, which kind of works with the issue replica. The eye, isn't Ishii, it? You know, it that eye. kind of feel. The the eye, yeah. It's just it's just so smart. It's like really nuanced. Just the use of red everywhere. Um, yeah, I just love it. It's just, it's just really simple, lovely typography. Love it. It's a bit, you know, it's, it's very much reminiscent of Akiko's funny games with that kind of crop. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. All righty. Um, she also did the the cover for the book that I was. Uh, thank you, Haley. Awesome. Um, let's talk uh, to Matt because Matt has uh, to go here in a sec. Um, I want to talk yeah. about uh, two posters uh, or uh, two two. We have two posters here, and, uh, and the first one is for Perfect Blue. But who was it again? I, f I forgot. Uh, Rosemary Valero O'Connell. Yeah, let's talk about it. Uh, it's Rosemary, to be honest. Uh, I, I saw the film once quite a few years ago. I don't remember it very well, um, but I love Rosemary's work. This is almost, again, like I say, I was in real trouble picking, um, picking posters for this year, and I was just trying to find artists I like who sort of work movie poster and movie poster adjacent, and... Um, this popped up. I think this was a private commission. It maybe only came out like two weeks ago, but it's it's beautiful. Yeah. Rosemary's an incredible, incredible illustrator, and she has like a really distinctive voice. It feels wholly different from 
most other alt movie posters, which I think is, I think out of all my choices, like they all seem to, like I, again, I got it right. Like I love Rory and Phantom City and Ob and um, Danger and sort of all of the you know Martin Anson and um, once again Ken Taylor. Like you know the the poster classics. You know the people who sort of aesthetic defines the whole scene, but. I kind of dig this more. This speaks to me more in terms of like illustration. I love. I just think it's a really well, well designed illustration with a really good sense of color, um, and the the sort of two tone center area of it really kind of like draws your eye in. Um, yeah, it's great. She's going to be doing a whole a whole series of uh, private commissioned anime posters, and I can't wait. Can't wait to see them. They're, I'm just like hugely excited by everything she does. Yeah, and you also picked another one for Exotica. And yeah. what was that? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, that one was Daniel De La Heras, I think. Yeah, something like that. De, De Las Heras or something like yeah, that. Yeah, someone, someone correct me when I get this wrong. Um, and this, I mean, by this point, I was really running out of movie posters. So this <laughs> is a Criterion Collection um, slipcase. Um, but again, just a beautiful, beautiful illustration. Um, really good, simple use of type really bold use of color the framing's really interesting it's just a beautiful painting that happens to also kind of communicate the themes of the story and in a in a way that again like i, I wish more posters were like this i think i and I, and I know that it's it's easier to say that for something like exotica or like perfect blue which isn't um you know uh big budget superhero movie like you could do a, private commissions yeah yeah i mean private commissions i think are the they have their own kind of sets of problems because like i'd say nine out of ten of them could benefit from having an art director <laughs> involved but you know because I, I you know i think it's probably again probably true of all of us we all benefit from having an art director you know someone who will look at it and go like the number of times that rob jones has just said watch out at the angles of these things crossing each other or that bit of type looks wrong or move this to there and it makes the poster better. And it's that midsummer one that we had up earlier is like a really good example of a private commission that just like totally, totally works. Um, but it's like, it's kind of frustrating. You see ones, you think, God, that's like one or two revisions away from being amazing. And, um, and you know, this is criterion criterion have amazing art directors and, you can feel their hand through the way that everything's placed in the way that like it it would not get printed if it wasn't perfect and it is perfect so um yeah all righty so there you go art direction um, art direction is interesting because you don't i don't think any oh, at least for me like you don't realize you need it until you have you've had it and yeah it works. should have put and do and as you're you like, told oh, shit. and it's just and until you've had yeah no, that's basically as well it. like i think we've all had bad art yeah. direction but when you find someone who like is legit good at their job. Like I can count a handful of people who like I trust implicitly <coughs> and I question their feedback. You know, they come in and say, change this, change this color. And it's like, yeah, okay. Cause it will make it better. And like, you know, don't be precious about it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, Rosemary's piece is amazing and you know, she's a really good illustrator. I think she knows what she's doing. Um, but yeah, I think, yeah, I think all my choices this year, cause I've got a, run almost immediately now <laughs> but um i i want to see more posters like the weird stupid things that i picked this year <laughs> all right next um and, and i'll see you guys in 12 months where i've completely failed to take on any of this for my own work there we go <laughs> thank you so much matt for coming <laughs> on it's, it's been a pleasure and, you yeah. as well? thank you izzy uh we'll see you guys soon and uh, uh, yeah we're just gonna discuss the rest of the posters here and uh next up is a uh, one person that is on this beautiful show it is mr flory jurassic park this, by james did the, i pick this the, james, 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 james <laughs> picked it the, the one cheat one huh the one cheat no, one uh, is the lophosaurus the logo the, the, lof, the spitter <laughs> the one with the or yeah, which spitter. about this yeah. year yeah yeah uh, i think like right first thing okay. yeah January. no that's really good yeah, that is just fun. Like it's my favorite movie, and it's like fun, simple as. Yeah. And I, I, when I liked it, I saw it and I liked it, and I didn't realize that 
the patterns were hidden in there. It was only like watching mm. uh, Open Channel when you like, mentioned <laughs> yeah, it. I'm right. like, oh shit! It's got the, it's got like the old dinosaurs. Yeah, it's got loads of dinosaurs. It's got all the six, dinosaurs. Six. I remember when you were making that, and I didn't notice the other dinosaurs while you were making it. And then at some point, you said, "I think I need another dinosaur skull or something like that." And I was like, "What the what, skull? What's he talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, "Oh shit, he's put dinosaur skulls in it." Oh, it's so clever. And so then I that, just played it, played it cool and was like, oh, yeah, yeah, it totally means the dinosaur sort of school, yeah. <laughs> it was that tricky thing because I well, I did the first, what the Raptor one four years, three or four years ago, right? And that was when I was still like, colors are flat, nothing blends, it must stay this way. So going back to that and kind of being like, well, it has to fit with that. But I, I did cheat a little bit. It has some tone in it, as you can see with the shadows and stuff, because it was just driving me insane. I'm like, I can't do this. I don't know how I ever did this. I don't know why I ever did this. Like, it's They all fit, though. Um, as, a, as a three, like, as they are, they totally fit. Yeah. It's just, I, just, I just made a little, like, you know, nudged it. 10 percent into having some tone in throughout but the skulls thing that was it It was like well he's in shadow it's got a, it has to have some dark or else it won't fit the others but i've had this idea for the skulls and i was like why don't we just cover it all up and like <laughs> they can they can see it if they see it and if they don't they don't kind of thing there you go it's a great poster love this one have this one Printed like i don't really know well how well. many it's like super you no know, on the t-rex i don't know how many people noticed the dna on the t-rex one that's made you know, the, subtle, the DNA uh, strands are the wires of the the fence, fence that it's breaking through. I'm going to have to go back and look at DNA it now, now that you've said it. In huh. my head, it, I can see it, but yeah, I didn't notice it. I don't think I initially noticed it. I, of course, you, know, you noticed the eye in the raptor. That, I just thought it was really clever. The first one. Yeah, yeah. I, I only saw the skulls when but I they, saw they, it at Thought Bubble this year, when I saw it big at yeah. that scale. It's mm. like, oh, there's the skulls. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's very cool. Yeah, but you know, I had people that with the Raptor when they got it, and they'd email me and go, oh, "I didn't realize the thing was in its eye." I'm like, "What, oh my God. what did you buy it for?" <laughs> That's the only thing you had. I love dinosaurs. It's a picture of a dinosaur. Dinosaurs are cool. Remember that. That's, this is that, true. That's this is why I've done four Jurassic Park posters. <laughs> I had someone ask me, "Why haven't you done any other the other Jurassic Park movies?" And I said. You just answered your own question. I mean. <laughs> yeah. There's only one. There you go. But yeah, that's this is true. That's not the only poster that is going to be on this show by Flory. It's also his Transformers poster, which was picked by Mr. Transformer himself, Matt Ferguson. Transformers everywhere, all behind me. As <laughs> you all know, I like Transformers. I did the official artwork for the 35th anniversary. I put all of my effort into that, making what I thought was the best possible Transformers poster. And this arsehole here comes along and goes, I'm going to put 50 times more robots on mine and uh, make it really good still. And I was like, geez, so good. I'm sure people have complained about it online because Transformers fans do. But I think it's it's just sums up that movie perfectly. It's great. Maybe James can say something to that because uh, more Art Gallery released this as well. So, Vice Press, it was a co release. As well, that's what I said as well. Don't think right. I did much um, art direction on it, really, did I? Did I? Um, it seemed like you almost There died. was a bit of two and fr- mostly. Hey. Didn't you almost die like doing it or something? Just the amount of work <laughs> drawing all those bloody robots, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I don't necess- I don't really love to do th- like I get sick of whatever I'm doing after a couple of weeks. So if it's too involved, it's just like painful. But this literally became painful because we had a uh, amount of time. We wanted it for the thought bubble, and it had to be done right. So I, but I went and put fifty robots on it, <clears throat> and I'm not good at drawing robots. So it became very. <laughs> time consuming and i was going to working very fast and i actually injured myself somehow um i had a whole stomach thing and it just turned into a bit of a disaster but as long as the post is good and the kids that have it are happy then it's all worth yeah, it, sure. isn't it i actually like the foil one yeah, yeah i just chose one. i, like I chose I that like the, one because the um i prefer the title i like the <clears> o <throat> on the movie because of that battle that i had on mine where i wasn't allowed it they said it wasn't the logo for the movie. And I went, it's in the movie. Mm. I've seen the movie more times than anybody else. It's <laughs> in the, the movie. logo. I need it. Because I had the o, big O with the stuff going through the O. And I went mental. And they just went, okay, you can have it. It's not that big a deal. 
<laughs> and then when we come to do Flory's <laughs> one, they just go, yes, fine, whatever. Yeah. They just signed it off. Yeah. There was a Japanese version of it. Couldn't have Japanese, though. Japanese. Couldn't that have Japanese, wrong. though. That's have a... Japanese. I might have to print out, like, a Jiko of that version, because I, I, yeah, I freaking like that. Cool. That, that Japanese yeah. one. But, yeah, we couldn't get it to everyone. Once the... Once the once the APs and stuff are done and it's all um, sold and all that sort of stuff, I'm going to post the Japanese one because I don't want anyone saying, oh, I wish I had to have that one. <laughs> the <laughs> yeah. colours like it's way did <laughs> for the Japanese one suited it more as well. It just, like, worked better, but obviously. Even better. Oh, my God. Mm. You're not allowed that sometimes. Oh, it's, though. it's not allowed. How could it possibly yeah, be? Really exactly, good post yeah. to... But but Sharm, how how are you on these kind of stuff? I mean, this is this is also very elaborate in terms of like the fifty million uh, transformers that are on this one. <laughs> it's bad shit crazy. I love That's it. I love it to bits. I just I really like the. Um, there's lots of kind of um, I don't can't describe it. The the graphics that you the oh god in the background the patterns that you the laser got, beam the, stuff the la the triangles and the kind of like. Um, the grids and all of that stuff and mixing all of that in it, there's a great depth of feel to it there's the planet in the background the set of planets in the top corner playing again with that scale it's just a lot of fun and for i used to be a transformers kid but i fell out of love with it like many many years ago but this would have made me very very happy as a child you know get it having this poster on my wall um it's the type of thing that you can inspire young uh, minds with and that that's that's the kind of artwork that you want to be making basically you want to be making artwork that a kid will have on their back wall and grow up wanting to like do something with their life like it you mm. know because they had this fucking transformers poster on the wall for me it was uh, redrawing the t800 endoskeleton i spent many many years redrawing <laughs> that thing as a child <clears throat> you know go, getting told to go to my room was a was a blessing because all I could do is just redraw that endoskeleton. It's because I saw it way too young, and Jim Cameron is still making those movies today. Avatar: The Way of the Water is oh, amazing. Oh yeah, go and see it. Being too um, sick, I had to. I had to but I think my tickets because I was too sick to go. It'll keep playing. They'll keep playing them. They'll, they'll play <laughs> yeah. them before the next one. Three years. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, this poster, it's something that, like I said, it, it's, it's truly inspirational for any Transformers fan. So That's, that's why yeah, I, I, I agree. That's, that's why I see... picked it, because um, as a, a person who loves that movie and had a, it had a big impact on my life, as you can see, it just, even more than the one I did, which was the, was the, what I thought would be the best possible the poster that anyone could ever make for that poster because I put all of my effort into it. It's so much better. It just sums up the perfectly. Yeah. Yeah, just put more effort in it. It's just, it's just, it's well, just yeah, I, well, I, I always go more reductive and put less stuff in, you know, so there's, I, I strip stuff out. But, but hey, yeah, so but I. on this one, so you, you, you just did the, the right so... idea to put everything in because it suits that film. That film is ridiculous and it just fits. Sometimes being a fan, like a true too much of a fan can hurt as well, can hurt you when you're designing the poster because you almost pay it too yeah. much reverence and you kind of, I, I did a Grand Budapest hotel poster and I, it, it doesn't look anything like any of my other work because I paid too much reverence to the film and I wanted to make something that would feel like it belonged in Wes Anderson's world. But what I should have done was tore it all apart and done something that didn't belong all in those the world in my transformers style. he's got i've I, me and him are like our worst <laughs> enemies because all we do is we make bloody posters <laughs> but the, the only other thing we do is, is talk about transformers and which ones we want to buy and we egg each other on and it's just ridiculous that this is how much of a fan i am of that film is this is my tape from when i was six years <laughs> old or whatever and mum taped it off the telly. And now we obviously, we have Blu-rays and all this sort of shit. But when I watch the movie, the ads that are on this, because she didn't take <laughs> them out, they play in my head. That's how many times I've watched this tape. I don't know if it works, but I will never throw it away. And I don't, it just sits there. And yeah, I had to make the film. Maybe so digitalize that, the tape. That's nice that you guys say that. Like, maybe. Yeah. But um, the but the... The fact that you said like that's the poster that a kid would want that like that I mean that's exactly what I was yeah. kind of trying to do so that's that's really cool. It's to hear okay, Flora. You can you can shed a tear. 
Joy. <laughs> How might cry. You, you, you did a good job. Not from you, lot. <laughs> good job. We're, we're oh, proud of time. you. Yes, finally. I just need to pop off real quick again. Sorry. Sure, go ahead, go ahead. But uh, yeah, so we're not talking about Matt's uh, next poster here, but uh, we're going to talk about uh, Charm's pick. And like he had a first pick of Bones and All by da Daisy Moore? No, Daisy Moore did the top. Oh, okay, poster. I'm sorry. Um, Bones and All. Wait there, where is my... I sent you a list yeah, and I, yeah, I need yeah. to find the information as well. <laughs> Where was it? Bones and All by Elizabeth Payton. <laughs> Elizabeth Payton. Um, yeah, she's um, a fine artist, like been making work for 30, 30 plus years. And Be I don't know, this Bones and All poster was just something that was like, uh, came about I've, i don't i haven't seen the film yet i just um i think it might have even been a teaser poster um hold on i need to i need to look at it so i can it's all falling apart dolly's gone someone's crashed a <laughs> car into the everyone, <laughs> everyone just disappeared because it's a film that they are not interested in that's why they don't happened. want to be <laughs> <Bones and all. laughs> um no, it's so grotesque, but also beautiful. And that's exactly what the story is going to be about. Like, and you can, it's barely legible in terms of the kind of brush strokes, but it's once you kind of look at it, it uh, properly, it kind of forms and you see the picture and then the type that sits on top of the actual painting kind of like, um, almost feels like it picks up some of the colors underneath. Uh, if anyone if anyone doesn't know what this movie about is about, it's about a couple who fall in love, but they're also cannibals. So oh shit, um, I can see them now. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. It's got it's oh, somewhat weird. similar to what Akiko did with June uh, with her June poster, where she had the ripples in the sand forming another Chalamet face. But um, yeah, I just thought it was a, a really really inventive poster for a film that is going to be a pretty difficult watch but this poster makes you want to watch it it's very intriguing and beautiful and uh yeah i need to get a copy of it and like a french grand size style and you know have it on the wall uh go and see the film i'm gonna go see it next week i think but it's from luca guadagnino who did the suspiria remake and Call Me By Your Name. What else has he done? He's done a few films. He did a TV show, TV yeah. show which was pretty good. We, we Are Still Here or something like that. He, oh, really? I mean, yeah, I yeah, yeah. The, the TV show was pretty good. It plays, it plays in Italy on an army base. I love that one. Oh, okay. But yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, since Matt is back, let's let's switch over to his Batman piece that he picked by, by who was it again? Or I, I'm not entirely sure of the artist, uh, but the Batman one, yeah. it was... Uh, Bond agency okay. did it and the reason why I picked it was because it's a very good poster for the Batman very simple with the question mark and the rain I don't particularly like the title that they've just chucked on after but the art itself is good but the reason why I picked it is because um, it's by a big agency and it's like a piece of key art and they used it and they plastered it up on walls and stuff and it just uh, is an example of, I think, how the film studios are sort of changing the way they market movies. Yeah. And I thought that the they, they, they did do a generic poster for the Batman, mm -hmm. obviously. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the marketing for that movie was quite uh, different and good. And, uh, it seems like... I just think, I think, I think it's, it's changing. Yeah, <laughs> it's changing. And they, and they sort of have two lanes now at the moment where they'll have the general marketing which is has its place, you know, for, I guess, what you would say, normal people or whatever, I don't know. And then this more weird stuff. Um, Put it in front of your face. Artistic, more it artistic stuff. Out. And um, I just think, um, my experience anyway, working with studios and uh. stuff, is they give me a lot of creative freedom. And I think they are interested in doing that. And over time... It sort of has changed in the past ten years, anyway, a lot. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, no, that's I why agree. I picked it because it's very interesting to see that come from a big agency for a big 
movie. Yep. There was a there was a Definitely. very beloved poster by uh, like the sneak preview I always like host every Monday. The people really love that poster. The, the also the rain one, which is uh, very simple, uh, not with the question mark, but like the other one that was in the rain. Also yeah. Very red, yeah. And people really love that one. So yeah, the, there's a market for that. So hey, let's. Uh, it, it feels like at the moment with like big films like that, if they're gonna do something interesting at the start, it, it's it's a Pokemon Evolution style thing. It's like super interesting teaser. Then there's a one in between that's yeah. like the walking through rain one. And then we slowly evolve into an orange or blue lots of heads poster. Yeah. And that's just how it works. Yeah. But at yeah, least they're getting, letting like them they, do something interesting at the start. It, it feels like they haven't fully committed to the, no. the you know, the more, the more interesting poster being the only one that they use. Like um, episode one, The Phantom Menace. There's only one poster. There's only one image that you recognize. And that's the Drew Struzan drawing, you know, the original one. And it was just, it just changed the language of the title for every different country. And it was one piece of image, but that was a floating head yeah, drawing, yeah. you know. It's just, I, I'm, I'm hoping that it continues. I'm hoping that it keeps going. Like you said, Matt, there's, mm -hmm. it's a big agency, it's a big film, and it's, play, it's doing something interesting. And you can only hope that they just continue with that. And, yeah. yeah um speaking of uh, uh agency not a big as fil a biggest film as uh, batman obviously is uh, mona lisa and the blood moon but this came out and this is by sarah uh, deck and charm picked this one as well but this is also key art, oh right? she's great yeah um i really loved sarah's um suspiria poster yeah. years ago and um, she recently painted a load of paintings These of Margot Robbie for the new Babylon film. The fake, you know? the movies She's, within the movie. Uh, yeah, yeah, the movies within the movie. And they're actually in <sighs> the film themselves. And she's an absolutely amazing painter. She's very, very talented and, and at what she does. And I interviewed her back the some, Mona... some, some time back. So people check, check out the interview and you will get to know oh, her a little bit. Check back. But the Mona Lisa and the Blood Moon it makes you want to go and see the film. That's all, I'm, that's all I can say. You look at the poster, it's a rendered image. It's intriguing. There's some crazy weird things going on in the background. The type is uh, a color that's just on the edge of taste. It's kind of like, it's intriguing. And that's what a poster should also be doing on some level. Like if it's a poster for a film that you've never heard the of. Cheeto, yeah. The, the Cheeto point, looks a little bit like point a point of the brief finger. is to intrigue. Yeah, <laughs> bones and all. Yeah, huh? But either way, either way, I'm intrigued. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I want to know why she's got a cheeto in her in her hand. And uh, yeah, when a poster invites you to to go to see the film again, that's what um, some and of my favorites uh, do. When you when you don't have like the the, the, the having a big star on, on a poster, which does the, half the work for a lot of people for you, I think the post needs to do a lot more work. And, that's, <laughs> and this is what this what post is doing. You know, you're not basing it on just like the A lister on being on the poster. And here's a big picture of him, like you you we saw for a lot of the um, Matt Damon posters. You know, here's Matt Damon and here's a little text over his face, and it was easy mm. to sell those films because it's Matt Damon. Mm -hmm. Whereas this has Matt to work Damon. a bit harder. Hence why you. <laughs> <laughs> I had to play that in my head just to get his name right, but I thought, don't say that loud. Just do it in your head. I'd do it for you. Don't worry. Thank, thank you. Um, but yeah, this is. I think that's why it's like you. You have to make a, a bit more of an interesting poster because you're not relying on the person, and that's you. You, you know, yeah. it makes you a bit more inventive with what you have to do. Yeah, and uh, I don't know if then our next one by Charm here is uh, also key art or not, but this is Tar by who was it? Oh yes. This one was by, um, I, keep, I just want to get the name right, Des, Desi, oh, Desi Moore. Moore. Okay. Desi Moore. Um, yeah, we're seeing the film in February, I think, in terms of UK releases. But I've seen the trailer already. And again, it's a, it's, it is one of the main posters for the film. And it should have been used as the one that went around the world. Because the other one mm. is a very dynamic pose of Cape Blanchett with the type mm. over her somewhat kind of like I've seen that before but this one I just thought it was because she's a composer and the kind of effect that it gives off it's it's very very bold again you know my my picks for this year were singular images on 
uh, blank backgrounds. It's something that I, I'm, I clearly am kind of wanting to see more in posters, I guess. Um, and it's something I can't do myself because my work is all over the place. Um, so yeah, it's a focused, concentrated image and it has a real effect to it. And again, it's something that makes you want to go and see the film. And cool uh, type placement as well. Mm -hmm. with the, hmm. Type's yeah. really strong on it. I yeah. fucking hate there's it. A, there's a lot of bro <laughs> put that seat in, down. In the, in the, uh... I need to see this poster now. <laughs> in, yeah. the, in the movie, there's a lot of Berlin in there. It's like basically, Matt. again, around the corner uh, from where I live. So that's amazing to Oh, no, yeah, I've seen, seen, I've seen that online. Yeah. Places uh, annoying. <laughs> where, where you live. I really liked it. I was like, oh, it's it's not, it's like, it's similar sort of thing that I did with my Bohemian Rhapsody like a few years back. But it was that like, you take something and just elongate it. And it, it was great because I, I took the morning off work to draw it and I only had, it had like the morning. So I was like, I drew the image once and I just got to repeat it loads of times. So it was like the work was done once. So it's great from that point of view, from scaling your time. Uh, but yeah, really like, I really like the rendering on it as well. That really makes it. Um, I, I, and the type is just, type's beautiful. I have an opinion as most people mm -hmm. do that um a lot of in the independent or side lines or you know you know boutique things do these creative uh wild images and stuff because obviously it's different to what you would see normally and then it captures the attention of knobheads like us and stuff but i, I think commercially sometimes uh people forget but then again are you trying to advertise such a film to as wide an audience as possible i don't know that's the that's, that's the are. that's the, the 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 sort of the, the the balance you've got to get i think uh, with posters and and some posters can go too far or, or one way or the other you know, it's because it's, I mean, it's commercial work at the end of the day and you are trying to advertise to people. That's like my opinion. If you're comparing, if you're comparing um, this tar poster that I've picked to the one that has been used across mm. the world. Which has got Kate Blanchett's yeah. on it, obviously, yeah, as well. Yeah, diagonally across. Yeah, yeah. There's not that much difference to the amount of information that's on that poster. And I think the hand-drawn, hand-rendered one is far more interesting yeah. than oh no the I, photo, I, photo I, know, I do agree yeah um it's just but it can but make I know people out saying. it you're can make people go well that's a bit odd i'm not sure that's the thing it's that. like but then are you trying to you're not trying to advertise to but it's an indie movie quote, unquote, an art normal film. people or whatever yeah that's what i'm saying yeah but yeah yeah, yeah. so what Matt, when Matt one crosses over like this like everything everywhere all at once crosses over and it gets a proper like i say proper like a a more traditional marketing uh, approach and posters and stuff. And it does, is that part of why it crosses over? Because it's got that more generic uh, appeal to it. With Yeah, with everything everywhere, you see people tweeting about the film and then you see them say, oh, and the poster's amazing too, you know? So they're like, it's still, the posters are somewhat an afterthought still today, which is, which sucks. I'm trying to think of a poster for a mainstream film that was as wild as, you know, the ones that I like. Um, well, back in the day, it used to happen to all the time, obviously. You had, like, West, yeah. West Side Story with an absolutely amazing poster that's really abstract. But I don't know. I don't really know what my point is, to be honest. I'm just... I'm just I mean, it's commercial artwork. There's that... <laughs> There's that sort of aspect that that has to come into it, and a lot of people don't realise that or think about it. I, think. I, I guess the a question lot of iconic. Is... Oh God, I, I was saying. I, I, I guess the question is, how much is the poster actually selling the movie today? Is it not going to be a video of Kate Blanchett playing with kittens on YouTube that that's, sells well, the, inter true. having an interview? <laughs> Obviously, back in the day, the poster was the one thing that got released, sold the film. And then we went into this realm of like, <clears> oh, no, it's the actor that sells the film. So their head needs to be the biggest on the poster. And that's where the floating head stuff comes from. But now the way you market and advertise a film is far more in the kind of like yeah. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube space. And the poster is somewhat of an afterthought. So my argument is 
why not make it a bit more interesting? Why not make it a bit more kind of visually playful and, you know, do some more fun things with it? And I think that's what the folks at Everything Everywhere chose to do, but they didn't intend for their film to blow up like it did. So they kind of like, it was lucky that their poster was also very interesting. But they now it's kind of... Sorry, they also have like the generic poster as well, um, and I think that was once once yeah. it blew up, it was like we need oh, something for. Oh, them. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, well, it's yeah. Just, yeah, yeah, it's interesting. I so guess I think why, why you can have both. I think that, both is yeah. the is the best way of being able to do it because because otherwise it's it's everything's generic, isn't it? It's nice to now be able to have the alternative poster within the marketing campaign. But you've got a that's point of comparison then as well. So the two yeah. lane yeah. option is got, quite yeah. good in a way because people that are interested in the posters or the artwork can go oh well i like that different one yeah but they they are going i like it compared to the not different one i think it's also like yeah i mean we say that films are marketed through social media etc etc but when i worked in the cinema like not too long ago people over the age of 40 would literally walk into the cinema saying i want to see a film today and they would have a look around and have a look at the posters. Um, and so ones that weren't that clear and like were creative, usually they were the ones that had the empty seats. It was the ones that literally gave you the story, the more mass appeal ones. They got bums on seats at the end of the day, and that's that's what posters are sort of there for. But that's with a, you know, it depends on the demographic. Those were people kind of like 40 and above who just wanted to see a film. Right. Yeah, so it's like the interesting challenge is is to is to do both. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, the uh, well, they obviously probably... also have the thing where where now where it's like there's a hundred posters for every film, yeah. like because they, they <laughs> constantly have to be p- posting things. So like the glass onion ones where there's a G and L and A and S and S <laughs> and O, and like they just keep posting them with every character or whatever, and that's an interesting development as well. I think mm-hmm. character posters. Yeah, man. that hits that again. That hits demographics as well. That's the reason why they do character posters. It's like, oh, I kind of like associate yeah. with this guy. Like, that's yeah. basically you're trying to hit every single demographic with character posters. Just crazy. And, crazy. Yeah, and and that social account needs something to post every, every other day just to keep that traction about yeah. that and keeping that yeah. you know that that twicker you know it's it's trending again that sort of thing. So hence why yeah why we have like half a dozen posters to a dozen posters nowadays for any one film. Big release. Well, they sometimes usually one will rise to the top. Be it, yeah. be it a yeah. generic one or a more interesting one that becomes somehow the poster for that film still. For sure. So it, for it's sure. funny that that yeah. still happens. All righty. I was just um, Googling the Multiverse of Madness poster campaign and I forgot that that film had a gnarly one sheet. It felt very Oh, it's really illustrated. Funny. It's great, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. One with the and border around the edge. Teaser- the board around the edge and they had a teaser poster where it was just the multiple heads like and that looked pretty weird and kind of crazy um i think some of the studios are and matt's posters for that film as well, well they said do what you want mission. so when they were they were they were like wanting something creative they said do what you want which is what they usually say anyway to be honest within reason that's good all right but yeah i, I do enjoy the bigger studios pushing for for more interesting stuff they've got the kind of resources and the money to do it so why you know why not yeah why skimp out skimp Sorry. out on Sorry. the yes. creativity <laughs> here but yeah before we come to uh my last uh three picks because uh, we mentioned already uh everything where every other ones and dark man that are in my top five uh tom chester's wanted to know from you guys what are your favorite posters uh that you did yourself mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, this, this year. year? This I can't year. remember what I did. <laughs> what, like top five? No, 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 just my, one. Just name one. Not, just just one. the top one. And mine's the Doctor Strange one. All right, there we go. <coughs> yeah. The white yeah, one. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Flory? Uh, oh, I should, I should pick Transformers, but I actually quite like my Halloween ah, poster go. that nobody really there gives a shit about. Still available in editions at Vice Press People. <laughs> no, it's not. Nope. I, I, the license is running out. Oh <laughs> shit! <Did him. coughs> yeah, Dolly. Right. Cool. Um, I like for Transformers me, better now. Um, I think for my favorite thing that I've made this year was probably significant. Other. Oh yeah, that was amazing. Um, yeah. It Did came do... up with the idea. 
Sorry, did you do The Shining this year as well? Yes, I did as well. Yeah, that, that was, was my well. number six, just so you know. Yeah, Ooh, thank you. Very that much. Also, that no, was no, my I'm... number six as well. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm really glad. It's what, yeah. So you nearly That's also my number twenty-seven for me. <laughs> yeah, definitely between those two. Um, yeah, Shining I loved. It's a funny one. It's like a lot of my pieces that do originally the, the galleries don't want to do it. Um, so that original sketch was like two years ago. Um, and then this year gets released. Um, it's quite funny. Um, but yeah, Significant Other really love because the because stu- it's for a studio rather than a gallery. And they really just bought into the idea. We had a call. I sketched it out on a post-it note just like this and said, I've got an idea of it, just the deer's head. I said, okay, go for it. And then they just... They show the initial sketch and they said, keep going with it, keep going with it. And I had the time at the time. So I like draw every hair and all that kind of silly stuff. Uh, but just glad that. And like, the, little, um, the little touches of blue as well. Yeah, on the, the little flowers yeah. and stuff like that. It was just like there was the, they had, they gave me the creative freedom and the time to do it, which is perfect thing. That's nice. And when you get that, you don't often get it, especially with a commercial job. So it, it's great from that point of view. And it's it means I've. Because of that, I got to work on um, Top Gun and stuff like that. But they they initially said, "Oh, we like what you do. Can you just do something for this very unknown film that's going to coming out coming out Paramount Press?" So yeah, really fun from that point of view. And yeah, I do like my Shining, but I drew that like a couple of years back, so it's like I'm slightly removed from it. But I finished it yeah, this year. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. It's a good post. No, oh, thank you guys. Yeah, yeah. So those those are my kind of like two dual picks for different reasons. Charm. Well. If I were to pick an alternate five favorite film posters this year, no, it would be the five posters that I made this year. No, <laughs> Multiverse of Madness, My Neighbor Totoro, Dune, Midsummer, and my private commission for Yellow Submarine. Um, that Dune is 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 awesome, by the way. That Dune yeah, poster, is Dune awesome. is my favorite I, out of that bunch. Wacky yeah, and I, weird suits the suits the suits the book almost more than the film. It's it's. I yeah, was messing wild. around with the five posters I made, but yeah, June would be my favorite one that I made. It, as I said, I was playing off of everyone is going to make a Denis Villeneuve June poster. And I'm yeah. like, I'm so sad that Jodorowsky never got to make his version, <laughs> but it was so influential on so many filmmakers. I had to put in some Jodorowsky and Lynch into this one. Irrelevant of whether it suited Denis Villeneuve's vision. I was just like, because my style, my approach is never to kind of like, to really suit the film. It's, it's, a, it's a singular view, you know, viewpoint. It's my, my version of what I would do. So why not make it wacky and weird? And the worm kind of poking in and out of the poster, it's a lot of fun. But I don't think I'm going to do June part two the same way. I think could, I'm going to do something completely different. Could you embellish, because... uh, embellish the worm next time then? Like, you know, like, like a James Jean style. How do you mean emboss it? Emboss it. Emboss it. Um, yeah, sorry. That would cost the folks at Mondo a lot of money to do. So uh, <laughs> I'm not too sure. You get a hand but press I, to do it yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's interesting. But yeah, super weird, super fun. That's the best approach from my my point All of right. view. James. <clears throat> <laughs> clockwork. Say clockwork. Um, well, clock, clockwork. Yeah, Pulp Fiction. Like, Pulp Fiction, man. Yeah. So. Yeah, clockwork really, Orange is your best one. Yeah, that's that's the one I'm, I'm most proud of. But I kind of drew it last year, I guess. But um, it came out this year. Pulp Fiction was fun. Yeah, if it came out this year, and that's what counts. Then. Yeah. yeah. Clockwork. Mm-hmm. Should be some more like uh, to follow in that kind of series with. Um, the soundtrack uh, mm. notation mm. idea. Do Tron. Ooh. Tron's cool. Tron's a good one. <laughs> That's where Wendy Carlos, isn't it? So <clears throat> same composer. Let's make it Do Wendy Carlos. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys can get the uh, the license for that, and I'll do it for your advice. All right. Oh, I, Tron would be amazing to get. Mm. Such a- how many times have I mentioned fucking Tron on these stupid Tron, Tron, cars? Tron, Tron. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you, it's Tron Legacy, though. You're like, yeah, I know. True, it's the weird, old one. I'm all about Tron Legacy, me. 
Yeah, I love the cool soundtrack, guy. Yeah. The soundtrack's cool. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. It's just it is. It's just vibe that movie, isn't it? Like here, it's we're talking vibe, about it yeah. again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are we finished? With almost, this now, almost. I want to mention my my last. <laughs> He's gonna do his <laughs> if, if that's allowed. So yeah, um, as I said, everything all at once and Darkman was already mentioned, and I picked this key art poster for a decision to leave. I couldn't find who did it, but this poster is pretty dope. I like. Uh, um, I've seen the movie. The movie. Is it's fitting for it very well. I enjoyed the movie a lot. I like the the type on this one and um, this uh, illustrated feel that it has. Um, but also, mm -hmm. where is it? I don't know what it looks like. It's, it's coming up. Leave. It's coming up. It's coming up. Give it a couple seconds, Charm. This was in Key Art Corner, Tom. Was it? No, we had a different one. Yeah, I picked this one out for. We had a Key different one. The other one, because there was there was a, there's another one that's also pretty good. So my my goal next year is to for one of you assholes to pick one of my posters for the favorite <laughs> poster of the year, bunch of bastards. I mean, I have two well, more. I didn't do it uh -huh. on purpose, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I'll believe it when I see it. Your Doctor Strange was was one. Don't of mine. start now. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> it was his number six. Yeah. I told you that. Number six. That's it. Number six. <laughs> yeah. It was oh, on my dude. it was on my long list, but yeah, but I told you long that list. when I saw you, you know, I um, but yeah, I need to to make uh, better posters now. That's the problem. <laughs> That's the thing. Next year, I'm gonna work harder. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, decision to leave. Tom enjoyed this one. Yeah, what was the decision to leave one? Did what you, does it look did you like? See it I now? have been following the chat. No, no, no. I don't know. I don't. I'm not following uh, hold the. Up, hold the up. I can't <laughs> see it anywhere. Hold up. Is it got a certain Flory, decision yes. to no, leave? Is it a film? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, the real okay, life. Okay, okay. I got gotcha, okay. gotcha. <laughs> So yeah, there you go. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's the one that uh, uh, I picked here. I like this one a lot. Because uh, everybody's allowed to have their own taste. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so here, next up is um, is uh, this an action hero? It's an Indian movie by an Indian artist. Uh, the artist is called Raj Kat Katri or Katri. And, Katri, yeah, yeah, Katri, and uh, yeah, this this poster is pretty cool because the the concept of the movie is the the guy the the the, the main actor Ayushman um, Kurana he is a, an actor in the movie an action actor but then he is threatened in real life and becomes this actor I think that that's why the concept of the of the movie uh, uh, poster that when he's standing in front of the poster or the ad at the, at the bus station or whatever it is uh, i think that works really well as a concept and i really enjoyed this one and the um raj is a very very i think very interesting uh, um uh, illustrator and key uh, artist that uh, I think he is in a business or has been in a business for 18 years and he's knocking out uh, very very cool indian posters left and right and i enjoy his uh, work very much so i picked this one and then I pick for my last one um, this Ron poster by Huang Hai, the Reg Edition, with a torn banner. And uh, I think this one uh, is really, really cool. And then the printed version actually looks pretty dope. I have it in the flat file. And I uh, know, never mind, it's already up on the wall. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, it's it's uh, turned out really great, and um, yeah, looks amazing on the wall. And I think this is one of the best posters, in my opinion. I thought it's going to go further, also in the tournament, but hey. So, what can you do? What can you do? Nothing. Manipulate. Hey, but uh, <laughs> yeah, we're we're, <laughs> we're 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 done here. But there was one question from the audience. Let's see if you guys want to answer that, uh, because the people wanted to know what are your dream poster projects for twenty twenty three. Uh, <laughs> Nothing is coming out, people. I'll, I'll take what it. Anything I, I anyone pays me to I, do. I, I can't. Couldn't possibly say. Um, <laughs> my, I have my already secured. Happen. I've already secured my dream post project <laughs> yeah. for 2023 because I'm my own boss and I've got my own post. Hey, company. so it's Guardian, so Guardian of the Galaxy on. Three, yeah. Uh, that is not cool. <laughs> but is that the dream? Is it the dream? <laughs> that, that probably Imagine won't happen, and everyone's going to be super be. pissed. Yeah. Everyone's going to be like, where's the guy in Star Wars uh, 3? They're going to boycott the movie if, they, if you don't do the poster, man. The concept well, at the moment is for me to do two. I, in my head, I want to do two. I'm going to do the floaty heads. I'm going to do the teaser one. And instead of him holding a lightsaber, it'll be as the 
Dune or whatever it is, like an iPod mm. or something. It's whatever they listen to the music on. Yeah. There you go. Uh, my dream pro- project, only because I just thought about it 10 seconds ago. It's not really a dream, but man, if they could just, I could just do something for that Mario movie. Like, I don't even care what it is. It just let me make some Mario things in general would be good. Mm. I, I would love to do that. All right. I don't even care if it's good. Mario's tough, right? Because the graphics in that movie are, what are they? They're DreamWorks. It's a DreamWorks picture, right? It's going to be... Uh, illumination. illumination. Illumination, yeah. Illumination. So they're rendered, right? They're already pretty rendered. And mm-hmm. I can see you doing a very, you know, similar to what you did with Transformers. I could see you doing something really fun and kind of... but it would be so close to the rendering of the actual characters or would it, you know, it's entirely up to you. No, I don't but, want to do that at all. I want to do the exact also, opposite. <laughs> like pull well, it back so, to, I pretty much want to make a backdoor cause Nintendo don't license anything. So well, I pretty much yeah. just want to backdoor into doing Mario and Zelda stuff. Like, <laughs> cause that's my, yeah, that's so, my, that's, it's my game too. I love, I played Mario and Zelda as a kid and I've always wanted to kind of do artwork for those properties, but it's, it's nah, again, they just don't let you. They don't let you, but also, the, I would fall too short. I'd pay too much reverence to the properties and not, I don't know, I, I love them too much. But uh, for me, uh, Wonka, T- Timothy Chalamet is playing oh, right, Wonka, right. and oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. being directed by the guy that did the Paddington movies and the Mighty Boosh. It's going to be super that's what weird. Makes it, that's what makes it interesting. Oh, it's going to be it's, so yeah. much fun. It's whole thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so that yeah, would be yeah. a dream project. Um I've got a load of posters coming out next year. It was announced on a Mondo happy, uh, chat thing. What is it? The, yeah, the Mondo. I'm doing um, a Cowboy Bebop. Uh, we're doing a kind of Cowboy Bebop exhibition. And, um, the I've, anime? Yes, yeah. And I've done, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done a poster for that. So that'll be a, a really fun one. Um, Eric, cool. was, his response was... As bonkers, if not more bonkers than you've already done before. So that was uh, <laughs> that's the feedback I get nowadays. Um, yeah. Did you did you change what you changed? Wanted to change? I did. Yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot you guys. Some of you guys have seen it already. Yeah. It's, it was. Uh, I amended it as per your critique. Thank Tom. you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, um, <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> Let's redo it. All of it. <laughs> I've got something really exciting coming out in January, so just super fun. That's uh, I can't say what it is, right, but right, right. It's, it's a, it was a fun one. Right. Dolly, what's up with you? Um, first thing I think I'm working on when the new year starts, I'm doing a re- rear window piece in the same sort of kind of guise as my shining piece. Mm-hmm. Um, so working on that, just like two colors sort of piece. So uh, that's be fun. And then I'm drawing, I didn't draw any Spider-Man this year. So I plan to draw a lot more Spider-Man <laughs> next year is the other thing. Yeah. So there's about Blue three. Ooh. Oh, for the, got that film the, out too. Yeah. That new movie, that one. Yes. That Into the you Spider-Man guys be was. doing the old team up for that again? Yeah. He's too hard to work oh, with, isn't he? Yeah. Glory. Yeah. He's a dick. Yeah. I'm going to work yeah, yeah, on yeah, this yeah. guy. Anyway. No. Yeah. Uh, just a lot more com- like comic book stuff. So the, yeah, that's the plan. But there's not like a one go to. It's just like I've I've this limbo period has just made me appreciate drawing again because I haven't drawn for about a week. So it's like oh I want to draw again. Um, as opposed to where I was at the end of con season this year, I was like I don't want to draw again. So it's it's pretty cool. James, yeah. what are you about? Um, it's a collaboration with another artist who was featured twice in these posters. Ooh. Um, we're just figuring out exactly what it's going to be, but that's that is literally my dream project. I can, don't know. Do you have a? I mean, walk away into the desert <laughs> like with a glorious soundtrack after I've done that. It's going to be, like, <laughs> dream. I mean, y- um, y- you have uh, uh, you do key art uh, as well. Is it is there a movie uh, like a movie that's coming up that you would like to work on? Yeah, everything that Matt does. Oh, cool, great. <laughs> Superheroes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, really nice I don't anything. Uh, they're all fun jobs. All key out stuff. But yeah. I'd like. I'm, I'm uh, I'd like. A bit more. I think I'd like Indiana Jones next year. I'd like to take a piece of that, but not like. Um, Drusen. 
I mean, well, you had to. You have t- yeah. two trilogies, right? Yeah, no, but I've not done like official, official cinema, cinema artwork. Yeah, oh, I want okay. it to be. What's everyone thinking about I... uh, Indiana Jones? Did you like the trailer? Are you excited? I, I, I didn't think it was the best trailer, but it does look good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it came out like the same day as like that Guardians trailer, which was wicked. Mm, yeah. So, you know. But yeah. There's some good elements in it. About... Oh, a bar... well, the thing People I, want a Barbie poster. I can't poster. wait to find out what they did with Mutt Williams. That's what I want to know. <laughs> Is his name Mutt Williams? Oh, he'd just be like, he's at school or something. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's busy at school. Sorry, Tom, Barbie. Barbie posters. Ryan wants a Barbie poster. Oh, that, tra- yeah. that trailer was oh, kind of cool. Yeah. We I like that. Oh, should the trailer was good. Yeah. Yeah. I've all got all a 2001 thing. Then, yeah. <laughs> then again, like the Super Mario Brothers trailer had me excited when I was a kid. And yeah. we all know how that film turned out. Yeah, yeah. True. <laughs> As in <laughs> trailers lie. <laughs> <laughs> but it, but that, this is the Wonka thing. This is because this is a, the mob that are making this is. N- Barbie is not interesting in and it of itself, but when no, you but get... she's so she's a good director. Out, and right. Yeah, and, and it's coming out at yeah. the same day as Oppenheimer. And her mate was writing it with her. And the trailer Oof. being a 2001 rip-off. Like, it's bizarre. It's hilarious. It was yeah. so much fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was... Once I first heard the news, I was like, "This, I don't know what's going to happen. And then you start hearing a bit more, and you see the kind of teaser images, and uh, yeah, it's it's going to be a fun one. Hey, I'm trying to think what other movies are out in Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is at the same day as Barbie yeah. coming out. Oh yeah, that looks good. <laughs> Oppenheimer cool. on the same day as Barbie. Yeah, that's cool. Um, the Marvel movies, Ant Man. Uh, Marvels is that next year? The Marvels, yeah, that's yeah. Ant Man's. Is there a... Ant Man in February? Oh, when is yeah. it? Yeah. Is Mission Impossible. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm working on that. Oh yeah. shit! That's good. That <gasps> what? <looks> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't I'm working on Mission Impossible next year. I've, oh, got, okay. I've, I've nailed that one down. Whoa. Nice. Are you, you could be under an, NDA, under an NDA, young man. Oh, I could say I'm working on it. Point. I just can't say what I'm doing and stuff like that. So that, they should be okay with that, I think. Possibly. Maybe. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I'll find out. <laughs> Big red stamp. Cancelled. <laughs> you all can say you're working on it. That doesn't, uh, that doesn't have to be do a contract. Tom Cruise jumping off something. Oh, Furiosa. And your, your poster's Furiosa's done. Furiosa's coming. Oh, Furiosa, well, yeah. That, that's I don't know. coming out. I wasn't, maybe was that, maybe that it's real? 2024. That's not, that's not next year. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's nah, not that next can't year. can't be next year. That's the year after. Have they even started filming? Yeah. Oh, have they? Okay. It's oh. finished. It's done. Oh, wow. I thought they were still like, in the no, they, I think they like, just pre-production. Two or three months ago. Okay. I'm hoping um, Disney and Pixar do something interesting with uh, Elemental. I think it's a Disney movie, right? Yes. Yeah. Pixar, yeah. Oh, it's a good, um, it's a good concept. Mm-hmm. It yeah, looks like fun, and it, it looks like fun. Yeah. Well, it's like it's... the last, like the ones that have been like the best things they've done recently is like in, Inside Out, and um, what was the one when they go to heaven and stuff? Uh, so, uh, yeah, those ones. So it kind of so... it feels more in that universe of stuff. You gotta watch them as well through a kid's eye. Like my kid wasn't that bothered about that, but she loved and loves Onward. Mm. She yeah. really likes on Red was good actually. And well. Yeah, to see like so. from their perspective, I I wasn't that a big a fan. I thought it was okay, but what of which one? Onward. What weren't you a fan of? It was cool. It was okay, but it wasn't it, stuff. The kid, oh, my, her, pretty much her favorite one is the Good Dinosaur, though. She absolutely loves the Good Dinosaur, and then so therefore it makes me like it more. And it is it's a really simple story. And there's not the high concept of the usual Pixar thing, but it, it it's got a nice, got a nice tone to it. It feels a bit like Ghibli esque, which I I always re- respond to. I think to. they fell into. Uh, uh, we're going to have a Pixar conversation now, but oh. they've fallen into like expectation overload. It's like everything has to be the yeah. greatest thing that's ever existed. It's and the good concept. dinosaur is a weird <laughs> idea. Like, what if? And they're just farming and stuff. But we watched we it hit like right when my little boy was it was dinosaurs that mm. was it and so to him it was the greatest film that had ever happened and we watched it fifty fucking times yeah. and yeah. once you really look at it and it, like you say through the kid for the kids it's mm. what it's one for us one for the kids one for us one for the kids maybe that's what they're I don't um, know aiming to do now I don't also know. Uh, people mentioned in chat obviously a Dune two and uh, Cocaine Bear yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that looks like fun. 
Oh, cocaine yeah. bear. Yeah, I got cocaine. offered a poster to that, and I said no because I was like, cocaine bear. That's ace. That sounds Do crazy. That. I'm not yeah. interested. Uh, uh, and now everyone's like, ah, crazy. I'm like, oh, my <laughs> email them back, dude. Honestly, that's just like so. It looks like so much fun. It's just ridiculous. But yeah, based on a true story. Apparently. Too busy for the. Cocaine yeah, bear. looks batshit. But June part two. Um, it's going to be more action packed, so and less kind of like ethereal in it. So. Well, it's like the big war, isn't it? Yeah, so that... it'll be really interesting yeah. to see what Denis does with crazy action, you know, and all our action kind of films. Oh, John Wick. Um... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, talk about all our action. <laughs> Over John Wick. I preferred nobody to John Wick. Nobody yeah, was yeah, I like that. I like that. Because it's like your expectation of him was like, okay, he's not going to be able to do anything. Whereas it's Keanu Reeves, you know, he's going to be able to kick ass. Anyway, can we wrap we it can. up? Now? Yeah, yeah, we can. Shit. Yeah, yeah, we can. Here we go, people. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope uh, you enjoyed this uh, Babylon and uh, the. Um, I'm speaking of a movie, Babylon coming out. Um, <laughs> But yeah, uh, this is still talking the posters we presented. Let us know in the comments what did you like. Maybe we missed something really cool that uh, we forgot because this year was long. A lot of posters come out every uh, week. So, hey, that's that. Thank you so much, guys, for coming on. It's been a pleasure talking with you guys. And we'll see each other in 12 a month and do the same thing again. Bye. Bye. <laughs>